<laughs> Hello everybody. Okay, let's hope this is working. Hello, you awesome dudes. We are now streaming from a different room. Now to you, it probably doesn't look any different. But for me, it's a gigantic difference. Anyway, good to see you, hope you are well. Now the video will of course show you a lot more detail of what has been going on. And I gotta admit to you guys, a lot has been going on. Good, you can hear me, fantastic. Yes, I'm terrified. Not because of the stream, the stream is the highlight of my week. But I'm just worried that things are going to go wrong. The green screen's going to fall down. My light's going to fall down. I don't know. But anyway, I am now in a chair. So now I can swivel my chair. So yes, when I'm nervous, I'm not be doing this anymore. I'll be swiveling my chair. But anyway, so this awesome chat. Good to see you. Hopefully the music's not too loud. Not gone all guns blazing today. Keeping the game to a reasonable level today. Hello, David Jensen. Bonsai Jamie's son. Hello. Quakers. Hello, everybody. Even all Jamie's new room playing old games. Happy days. Sweet Sales Amiga. Hello. Hello Man Cave Hobbies, hello Heath, hope you're well, get well soon pal. Quagos, hello David, hello Swedish, Johnny Crypt, hello everybody, Kill King Arthur, oh hello the King, Lord Infinity, good evening everybody, Judge Green Man from Texas, hope you're well. Been looking forward to this, me too mate, I've been looking forward to it for the last, since the last two weeks. Michael Jensen, hello guys, Robert Cullum, hello everybody, today Jamie's stream from bed, room, not in bed, room, confirmed. Sup, hello, Max Living, good to see you. Gumjo, hello John, uh, Daz Gamer, good to see you, Mark. He was a really happy man at the moment of time, he's playing as Amiga. Fantastic. Good to see you, Mark Gorham, Judge of Man, hope you're well. I was trying to play the intro tune on my guitar. Really? That's fantastic. Hello, Oxo Good, always good to see you. And David Jensen, good to see you too. Yes. Let's hope everything goes well. I hope so. Man Cave Hobbies, hope you're well. I can see you and hear you very well. Jamie on the chair. Yes! Yes! Carve up, yay! Mark Blaster Gamer, good to see you. And Saywolf, hello everybody. And Andrew Stublein, another awesome moderator arrive on the scene. Good to see all of you. Yeah, I don't quite know where to start. Uh, now, of course, there are things that I couldn't include for this stream. Uh, I would like to have had a different angle, but unfortunately, yes, I did buy myself another webcam, but it arrived a little bit too late. I didn't have time to put it in place. But yes, of course, like I say, the stream won't look all that different for you, apart from me swimming around my chair. But yes, there's a lot going on here. No, it's not. It's not. But it's there. It is there. And also, Jasper is there. He's sleeping on the bed. Hello to Sajjo. Good to see you. Uh, so today, I'm not going all guns blazing, like I say. I'm not going for a Shadow Beach trilogy completion. We'll just keep it doable, should we say. Doable. Lots of M's there. Lots of M's. It's okay. So, uh, Carve Up. Love Carve Up by Core Design. Never finished it before. Uh, Titus of Fox. After playing it on the mini video, I want to play again, it's brilliant, again, it's hard as now, can't get far, but let's do it again. Uh, Walker. <clears throat> now, I've actually got a much better way of using the mouse. It's on a solid surface, so let's try some mouse games for a change. Actually, I just had a problem there. Let's use a joystick instead. Uh, Walker, fantastic game. Yeah, one of the problems I've got at the moment of time is my Mega is quite some distance away, so I can't really play games with a keyboard. But of course, in Walker, you can use mouse and joystick, so that's fine. Captain Dynamo, I did a long play a very long time ago. Uh, never streamed it. Uh, it's fantastic. Why not? Uh, Cannon Fodder, I've got two box versions. I can't show you one. It'll be eliminated by the green screen. And a little bit of Xenon 2. Reach it. Oh! Let's see if we can get a completion today. Uh, I've not played for a while, though. But anyway, even if it, it, you know, if I play badly, as long as the stream goes well, I don't think that's too bad. That's been really good. So I'm really happy. But yeah, of course, the video will need to be done. Uh, but yeah, it's I got to do so much editing. So this weekend is going to be editing, 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 and more editing. No, I'm not using my meat in the mini. No, 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 no. I love it. I do love it, but. I love the original hardware, so the stream with the original hardware, stream with what I'm used to, and we'll see what happens. But of course, in the future, yes, there'll be a few in the future. Sweet Sounds, you lean on the M button? Would you like that? Uh, sorry, not spam. Only cat sleeping. Oh, of course, yes, I forgot. Yes, Sweet House has now got another cat. Mate, is he better now? She, he. Uh, yeah, he was, he was hiding for quite some time. Hope, he's, hope, he's, hope he is well, he, she's well, you're well. Hello, Skinwalk, good to see you. Hey there, good to see you, buddy. Uh, Daz, good to see you, Daz, even Jamie, even chat. I'm dubbing up tonight as watching Elden Ring. Oh, we're playing Elden Ring and drinking Budweiser. See, men can multitask, so you absolutely so. 
Halfway through the season, Speed 2, Top Division Jamie won every game so far, but Faith of Justice are still the top. You're doing well, pal. I have every faith in you. Good to see you guys. Love Walker quality game. It's superb, isn't it? Never finished it before. Uh, also, guys, let me know if there's any issues here and here. Because this chat... No, sorry. Because the green screen is a much smaller scale, I don't want to keep hitting it with my chair, which is why, in the near future, I'm probably going to push it back a little bit. Hardware, real hardware for life. High five to that gum -dio. Good to see you, pal. Not having any... No, I haven't. I haven't used it since that... Which I did. I did a, a, a quick test the other day for a few questions I had on that video. Thank you very much. So I just plugged it all in. It was um, Disco Poppin. He asked me a question about the settlers. I plugged it in and did it for him and checked it. Zajag also did a question. I checked that for him as well. So I plugged it in for you awesome dudes. Uh, and then commented and then... I'm good to go. Where is Shasper? He's there. He's on the bed, mate. No green screen this time. If he's behind the green screen, then he's actually hovering in the air. Not this time. <laughs> I do need to buy another grid as chair, but yeah, th th this one was actually bombarded by cat fur. It took me half a roll of sellotape to get it all off. So, yeah, it was difficult, but of course, it's his chair as well as mine. But yeah, first come, first serve. He's got the bed. I'm not streaming on the bed, I'm streaming on the chair. But it's a furless chair at the moment of time. But anyway, really, really good to see you guys. I've missed you. I know it's been two weeks, but I've been wanting to do this for quite some time. Uh, I was really eager, but of course there's been so much going on, but I really have been looking forward to this, but also nervous at the same time. Love Cannon Folder was playing out on the MIDI the other day. Have you ever completed it before? Uh, now of course, a lot has changed. Now of course, I can't really show you an awful lot, but of course the video will, will show you, but I have spent quite a lot of money to make this possible. Pretty much everything has been moved in my entire house. So much has changed, but this is something that's been needed to be done for the last five years. But anyway, looks good. I appreciate that. I really do appreciate it. We've got questions on the stream, but of course now my keyboard is in front of me, so no longer am I going to be looking to my left to make sure the PC is working. The PC is now located on the floor. Uh, now this is your bumper, which is good for reading chat, because I'm now invincible. So you just drive into the enemy, and that is fantastic. Mate, Manco Hobbies, I really appreciate that. I did watch a little bit of it. That's brilliant. That's really, really good. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, he's, he's actually 3D printed me a disc box. Which, of course, as you know, my discs, I do have a lot of my original discs. And a lot of them don't have a, a specific place to go. So, yeah, he's making me a, a disc box. Which is 3D printed with my name on it. And Walker's Games on it. That's fantastic. Um, David, you... Turbo. That's fine. We should be right. Hello, Karen. Good to see you, Karen. Hello, everybody. Uh, yeah, a green screen, yeah, maybe. We'll see. I don't know how much they are, but of course, limited in space. Um, but it works. It's not a big problem. Hope you're well, Karen. Good to see you. Play Carve Up a lot. Me too. But what what is making this game very difficult, not just now, but also in the older days, is additional lives. You can get additional lives, but very, 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 very rare. Very, very rare. You've got to try and get the extra letters. But you do get quite a lot of the bonus letters, but not many of the extra letters. Yeah, That's the only way you earn additional lives. You've got to spell extra. But you don't earn any additional lives who score. But then Call of Sign did that quite a lot of the games, didn't they? Now, of course, you do get weapons, uh, but you're going to use them at specific points. If an enemy is in a certain point on the screen. However, you press the space bar, which I can't do. It's over there. That also does it as well. Hello, Retro Box Room. <laughs> Good to see you. Real cool. How you doing, Raphael? Good to see you. Hello from Brazil. What time are you, is it now in Brazil? And Karen, what time is it where you are? Uh, cat sheet is now a real cat. Cuddly. Oh, Swedish house. I'm so happy for you. Really, really am pleased for you. Yeah. And is it Simil? Simil? Is that pronounced correctly? Simile? Mate, I'm really happy for you. You deserve it. Long time no see. It's not a problem at all. You're busy, baby. We all are in our own ways. Good to see you. Uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 12 past four on Friday or Saturday. Uh, good to see you, pal. Welcome to the stream. I've been watching the Fighting Cowboy long. You've been watching long plays already. I don't long play modern ones. Very rare. But yeah, I've heard so much about this game. I was talking to Kite6G early on today, and he can't fault it. He said it's perfect in every shape or form. He can't fault it. And no flaws whatsoever, which is good. Right, so I'm going to go to the bonus stage, hopefully in a moment. You don't have a boss until you get to the end of the game. 
It's Friday. Okay, that's not too shabby then. So you're slightly back in time then. It's currently quarter past eight here in the UK. Also good, how are you? Right, now this game, uh, I was talking about this on someone else's stream. It's got a bit of a misleading title to it, because you would have thought this would be a, a driving game. I suppose it is, but it's a platform, isn't it? Uh, so how many games do you name with misleading titles? So yeah, if you see the game called Carve Up, you're automatically going to think a driving game going that direction. You wouldn't have really thought of it being a platforming game. But it's a good one. Um, it's 115 for you. Okay, so we rescued the first character, which is Dog Woof Woof, thanks for rescue me. So yeah, it doesn't have to be on me, it could be whatever you like. <laughs> Connell's Circus, that's a good one, Mrs. Fizz House, that's very good. I do have that. Yes, that doesn't contain any clowns whatsoever, that's a racing game. Uh, I have to admit, I think I prefer the CD4 version to that one, even though I have played the Mii version a lot more. T-Racer, good one, I like that as well. Good game, yeah, that's a, an awesome shoot em up Good question, good answer. Hope you're welcome to you, hello RetroTech Route, hello, what is happening? I'm streaming for a different room for the first time since starting the channel five years ago. The Real Driving Simulator. Uh, Gran Turismo, yeah? Or was that another one? Possibly. Now, of course, call design. You have music sound effects, but you can't have them at the same time. Press the M button, which I might do on the third level. We'll have some music. But of course, like I say, the Amiga is quite some way away. I haven't solved that issue yet. Our type is fantastic. Yes, I love it. Bats. Charlie Far, bats in this game. Are you surprised? I'm not. Silkworm, that's a good one as well. Yes. Yeah, that's a good one. And what a game it is too. Um, yes, yeah, T-Racer is a shooter, and a good one too. Didn't know about it in the other days though. Silkworm is a good one, Swede, no silk, no worms. It's crazy, isn't it? It's crazy. So anyway, yeah, I do really do appreciate it about the, the support guys. You guys have been so patient with me, of course. I did say that long players will return, my usual videos will return, but of course this has to be done first. To make those possible, this had to get done. And this is something which, as you know, if you've been following my channel for a while, and quite a lot of you have been, it has been a struggle. Not so much at the start, but of course, as I've, the channel has grown in size, t t you know, the equipment has, has, has got higher, evolved, should we say. So yes, yeah, space has been producing, I've been buying games, but of course I'm not going to stop, but I have had a bit of a break this month. So of course, yes, it's been getting more and more difficult, the more it's been going on, should we say. But we are now there, but it's crazy now, because my living room, I actually ha ha haven't really been in there an awful lot. It's crazy. Uh, this car looks really, f yeah, his name is called, I forgot his name actually. Uh, I should know. Hold on a minute. I should know. I've forgotten his name. But anyway, he actually has a fear of heights, which is why he turns around at the end at the end of each platform. That's why he does it. Because he doesn't get fear of heights. He turns around. Uh, so yes, you've got to try and turn him around. So you just down and fire for a low jump, fire for a medium jump, and up and fire for a high jump. Basically, you've got to turn all the platforms to the rhythm state, but do it in the time limit, which you don't actually technically see. But when he runs out of time, turbo arrive on the scene. And one of those characters that will chase you down until he meets his target. Once you've found the quite a quantity, you go on to the next level. And you're taken away by that flying dude and on to the next level. But yeah, bottom of the screen, that is the bonus. Get the bonus, you get additional score. But it's extra you want to try and get, but I've never actually done it before. Hello, I dubs. Good to see you. Cobra, no snakes in it. Have I played that one? I don't think I have. Is that the Amiga? Hope you're well, Lord Infinity. Megalomania. I've never played it before. <clears throat> never played it before. Right, a few silly mistakes there. Hello, and uh, Zaja, good to see you, Bao. Hope oh, you're well. I dubs, hope you're well too. Johnny Cribs, hope you're well too. Um, looks like the car from the. Yeah, a little bit. Yes, a few people have said that. Not today, but a few people have said that in the past. Yes. I can't remember his name, though. Arnie. Arnie. There we go, Arnie. Yeah, and the, the villain is. Um, I can't remember his name. Captain Grimm. Turn Captain Grimm evil back into good. Uh, now also, I'm, us I'm using the OSSC. For the last what, five or six streams, I've been using the uh, HDV converter. Of course, the issues with the OSSC is, of course, the resolution changes. But hopefully, now I can maintain it a little bit better. If it happens, of course, reactivate it and activate it again. It should be fine. Thank you, <laughs> Saving Wolf, I appreciate that. Thank you so much, mate. It saves my life. It's really brought my social life back into my life. If I wasn't doing this on a Friday night, I'd be bored at my brain. 
Now, as you turn the enemies into carrots, and that gives you additional points. <clears throat> Phantom Amiga. Did you know that guy? There we go. Um, yeah, what's this Cobra? Um, I've heard of it, though. John sisters, but only one sister in it. Well, one of them's asleep, isn't it? <laughs> yes, that's true, actually. Which, of course, you can play as two-player, but it's take it in turns. The channel saves the Fridays when I'm not working. I appreciate that. Michael Jackson's Moonwalker had no point does he walk on the moon. Mate, I haven't seen it for years. I should get that. But anyway, like I say, guys, I wish I could show you what, what's actually going on here. But yeah, this is a table right in front of me. Keyboard is on the table. Mouse is on the table. I'm not streaming on a sofa anymore. I'm not using a sofa as a mouse mat. There we go. But let you a pig. But anyway, I hope you're all well. I hope you're good. Uh, also, I need to... A few, some some music. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. It's not now. Okay, it doesn't work. Press M for music. Uh, so anyway, enough about me, guys. A lot's been going on, though. But anyway, how is everyone? How has your fortnight been? How are you been? What are you doing at the weekend? What's your plans? What have you been up to? ZX Spectrum or C <laughs> Film? C4 f for the film. Yeah? Why's my M not working? There you go. I love it. I was actually doing some gardening the other day, actually. Uh, I was thinking of that muck. The Mega one is nothing like the Sega Drive 1. Right, I'm never going to that. But yes, yeah, again, it's difficult to adapt to. Uh, Daz, thank you so much. That's really kind of you. Uh, hope you're well, buddy. Good to see you. Um... Our type is not a word processor. Thank goodness it's not. If it was, that'd be the, the best word processor in the history of the world. Also, if there's a game that requires me entering a name, again, it's too far away. But this one is actually okay. But I need to try and look into that and make it a little bit more easier for me. I don't quite know how to bring the original hardware closer to me. That is going to be a problem. But of course, this is a, a starting point. We need a starting point. Nice one, Darren. Thank you so much. That's really kind of you. Every donation has really, really helped me a lot. The Patreons has helped me out a lot. I would not have got this project done if it wasn't for the Patreons and the donations. But thank you so much. It has been a very expensive task, but like I say, it was something I wanted to do. It is the highlight of my week, after all. I would love to go back to streaming every week, but at the moment of time, I don't know it's going to be possible. But I would love to have done it, but at the moment of time, continuing this way, it's working. But now, of course, the, the, everything has got to be packed away every time. It's so good. Mark Gordon, that's so kind of you. Here's for the help with... Oh, it's Oh No More Lemmings! Oh, sorry mate, I didn't... I sent you the picture of the wrong one. I thought it was Lemmings. Oh, I sent you the wrong code then. Oh, he was playing Lemmings and he wanted the code. I had the box, I took a picture of it and sent it to him. I didn't realise it was Oh No More Lemmings. Oh, sorry about that. But yeah, Mark's having a whale of a time. Was it like 24 years since you last played an Amiga? He's having a really good time. So anyway, uh, put a poll on the stream. I think I'm about to do it. I've also got two mouses going here. Hopefully the volume is okay. Again, a huge thank you to the donations. Um, this should be quicker as well. That's quite quick. That's quick. Is it working? There you go. Right. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, your task is on as Arnie is to visit the eight worlds featured within the four gate levels. You have to drive around turning good Captain Grimm's evil back into good. You must rescue your kidnapped friends, make all the worlds a happier place again, and then go on to defeat Captain Grimm at the end of the game. Which looks like a space hopper. As you heard right, it looks like a space hopper. Rock sighting my hamster, no hamsters, were eight playing that game. That is fantastic. Hello to friends in Malaga. Hope you're well. Good to see you. I love the icon. Right, I've one more go, but we have music. Right from the start. Good to see you, pal. Right, there you go. Now, we'd like to long play this in the future, uh, but that's not going to be an easy task. Yeah, this game, you don't have a lot of life. You have four, but they're very, very few and far between to get to them. So this case is learning where the attack enemies go, the attack patterns, where it's safe. Not many places we are safe, but yeah. One of the problems with this game is once you're completely out into the air, you're completely out of your control. Anything that arrives on the scene, you don't get a lot of time to react. It's a lot of like where you fall. 
Sometimes you've got to react very quickly, but also Turbo arrives on the scene and it will home in on you. Uh, but yeah, this is of course the construction theme, then you have the uh, horror theme, the garden theme, then it's the prehistoric theme, which is the furthest point I've got. But I'm using visual hardware today, people, of course. Retro for the win, visual hardware for the win. And no cheats, no cheats on this channel. Uh, I'm picking up the Mega Mini in a few weeks to go with my A64 Mini and the PlayStation Classic. What do you think of the PlayStation Classic? I, I do like it, but the games that were included could have been a lot better. But also, I wasn't only keen on the look of the home screen. It needs, it needs a little bit of finesse. It needs something. It needs a little bit of sparkle. You know, a little muck. But yeah, no intro, no uh, title screen music or any shape or form. Just a click, a click, click, click. That's what it's got. It needs something else. Compare gods and Amiga. I, uh, I like to taking it real slow and careful. And what is good about that game? Of course, Big Bad Brothers did that quite a lot with the games. No time limits. It's always nice playing a game with no time limits. You can sort of, you know, take your time a little bit, master the game a little bit more. No rush, rush, rush. No turbo running on the scene or anything like that. You know. How far did you get? So of course, you've got four levels. I have got to the third level, boss, on Amiga. I have completed the remaster, which is a lot more easy than Amiga. Um, so you're in Spain, yeah? So you're an hour ahead of us. You're half past nine, yeah? Right, so we'll put an end to that. Uh, right, we've got a bumper, which is fine. Yeah, the bumper does last quite some time. However, does it protect you from turbo? I don't know, we won't know. So there we go, 67% of you do not have one, 32% does. I should have added to that, I would have added to the list there. But yes, of course, it's not going to stop me playing original hardware. It's not going to play. It's not going to stop me playing the original Amigas. But every so often, a little bit of rest for the original hardware is not a bad thing. Man Cave Hobbies, that's so kind of you, thank you so much. And please get well soon. Two, to, uh, two, three. You've got gods. Pretty proud of that. That's good, mate. It's not, it's not an easy game. But of course, you can get a lot of lives in that game. Uh, but yeah, to this day, I'm still finding out more things about it. Find out different secrets I didn't know about before. Um, that's really kind of you. Almost everybody has voted in the Mega Mini Vote. That's fantastic. I love it. I love it. So this is where you can get additional points, but like I say, if you can get the lucky ones, which I've never actually seen before. Uh, now I did actually watch a long play of this a few months ago, and I thought, right, these guys never fail. They, they always, always achieve what they want to achieve with no deaths. And I looked at it and thought, right, has this long play got any additional lives? No, he didn't earn one. Not a single one. Hello to Sean, Jolly Music, it's good isn't it? Welcome, hope you're well. I'm now in a different room, which is why I'm swiveling on my chair. Good to see you, Sean. And thank you for your kind comments on my last upload. That's really kind of you. Yes, uh, unfortunately, Core Design, they did it with some of their games, not all of them. But yes, this one, you can't have music sound effects at the same time. But you press the M button and you switch from music, sound effects, and sound effects to music, whatever the case may be. Don't forget to smash the like button. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm not going to lie to you guys, it has been extremely knackering, but like I say, I've wanted to do it. And the reason why I want to do it is because I enjoy doing it. I enjoy streaming to you awesome dudes. Didn't know that was a song from the game until now, oh really? Yeah, in the other day, I think it was actually Gumdio a long time ago, last time I streamed it, or the first time I streamed it, he said about that, and I had no idea, and I got a box version as well, I didn't know that. Yeah, I was amazed. I suppose, surprise, or in some cases, probably not surprise, it's called design, I know to do that. But anyway, let me know if there's any issues, you know, if my green screen goes out of shot, or my um, audio goes out of sync, we are using the SSC as well, so yeah. Any issue, let me know, but of course now I can monitor it a little bit more easier. Now you've got the gun, that'll go in the forward direction, but you can adjust it so it actually fires automatically, or you can fire it on your own, obviously in space bar, which again I can't do, but the gun is good. It goes in a straight line, so it's going to fire quite easily, and you're mostly going to hit your target quite no, no problems whatsoever. It's the only time of the week I can chill and be happy. Matt, that's so kind of you. 
really, really kind of you. Thank you, Sean. It is the highlight of my way, of course. Fam to me, keep your bats under control, my friend. <laughs> um, yes, I'm using Zipstick. Yes, I'm not using the joystick on the desk. It's on my lap. Um, yeah. So, for the people that did buy the Mini, do you like it? Of course, there's a lot of hate. Mostly on social media, but yes, unfortunately, you're always going to get haters, unfortunately. But as long as all some of you are happy with it, then that's good. I've got drinks, got three of them here, mate, yeah. I did have a sleep though today, I was exhausted. I had to throw in the towel. Love it, yes you love it, Quagers, good to see you, yeah. Really, that Sabre controllers are awful, and Amiga and C4 Minis, yeah, the C4 ones are horrendous, aren't they? We you sort of say, oh, my joys have snapped, all, people automatically think, oh, you're playing a sports game, aren't you? No, when it snapped, I was playing Bruce Lee, Bruce Lee 2. So it wasn't, you know, a crazy game. It doesn't require a lot of joystick waggling. It just snapped. I just made one jump and it snapped. I had no idea it was brittle with that. Phil, good to see you, Phil. Good to see you. I hope you're well. Good welcome to the stream. You didn't get one, though. Uh, loving it. <laughs> Fantastic. Like I say, I've said on previous streams, a lot of people weren't sure at first. But you know, it's a much cheaper option, of course. It's, it's nothing like. Nothing beats having the original hardware. But you've got to admit, they've done an awesome job of it. It looks the bees neat. It really, really does. The attention to detail is superb. But yes, if you're going to put the USB keyboards, that's not really a mini anymore. That's actually making it bigger in size. Oh my lord! Can Tic Tac be plunged into the. Tac 2. I don't know. I have tried the zip stick. It doesn't work. But I'm sure there could be a way of doing it. I don't know. But of course, uh, Competition Pro does work, but of course you have that button issue, which again, it can be modified. But I haven't tried it yet. I uh, haven't tried any others. Cruisers, quick fires, not trying anything like that. Monster joysticks. No, I haven't tried that actually. I should try that with the USB adapter. Hello, Magma, let's go. You just clicked in there, didn't you? I saw ya. I saw ya. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. I don't actually mind a truck. Mate! I'm sure you're probably all surprised. It's brilliant. I love it. I absolutely love it. Of course, I dislike controllers. Always have, always will. But that is fantastic. I couldn't believe it. It performs so well. And it's really done well. I think it's at 700 views now. I mean, that was actually a week late. I wanted to do it a week early. Unfortunately, I couldn't. I was too busy moving all my furniture around. Commission Pro USB works with these mini systems, yes, but like I say, it does need a slight modification. An arcade stick, and it's nice and crisp, we can't go along with that. Right, okay guys, I need some help. Uh, this weekend, I'm doing my editing. I've done so much recording for my next vlog, part three, but I need some help with music. So, I have put it on the Discord page. But what are your favourite retro soundtracks? Just for the Amiga, could be one you want. If you like it, put it on the chat, and I'll hopefully put it in the video for you. Because of course, as you know, I do like to include a lot of music as backgrounds. So there we go. Go for it. Providing YouTube are okay with it. Right, let's give this another go. Grass is always green on the other side. How about we gotta cut it down? Trim it. Never played on the Amiga, but I bought the Amiga and I'm enjoying it. Good. That's good. That's good feel. Hope you're well, Phil. Nicky Boom is fantastic. I love it. Yeah, that is brilliant. Yeah, YouTube is it's such a strange, bizarre thing. But there are some real surprises of music that I get copyright strike for. And there's some really surprising ones I don't. It's very, very strange. I mean, I can, I can play Sonic with no problems. Some Nintendo games with no problems. But Barry Leach... Can't play much Barry Leach. However, my Supercars 2 video was not affected by that. And neither was Silkworm. But yeah, if I'm playing something like Lethal Weapon or. I can't think of any more at the moment of time, but yeah, I can't think of any more. But yeah, mostly Barry Leach and Chris Hellsbeck. Not always Chris Hellsbeck. Or should we say some of Chris Hellsbeck's songs I do and some I don't? That Tarkin 3 video I did. There was no issues with the music whatsoever until I completed the game. The ending track got me the copyright. It's not a strike, I don't sort of chop my channel in half, it's just I can't earn revenue on it. Yes, uh, Phil Carver. Yeah, this is, um, 
quarter time. It was 1990. Got it in other days. Bought it from a shop in Maitland in Kent, which is Kent Micro. I can't remember what I paid for it, but unfortunately my box does not have a manual, because I think the manual was actually on the back of a poster, which I wasn't a fan of. I didn't like that. Because you want to put the poster on the wall, but you want to keep the manual in the box and read the manual. You want to be taking the, ma the poster off the wall to read the manual. So yeah, I think the poster went astray. But yeah, Call of Duty did that quite a lot with their games. Premier was another one. Yeah, I wasn't a fan of that. Mattel Light, it wasn't cool design, they did it as well. Where's the last one? Mr. Raw! Hello, Mr. Raw! Welcome! Hope you are well, Mr. Raw, Mr. Draw. Let's try and find one more piece of grass. Where is it? There it is, you little rascal. There we go. Hello, that's your choices. Uh, Eden Raw, good to see you, buddy. And thank you for all your messages during the week. I really appreciate it. Always do. <laughs> Mr. Raw, I know your name is Rory. Did people call you Raw before streams? Or was it the thing that's adapted since the streams? I've always called you Raw. I don't think I've ever called you Rory before. Raw suits you to the ground, doesn't it? Right, the carrots, you actually collect them for different points. But we're not chasing them. There we go. Um, it's a whole new Commodore world. It's fantastic, isn't it? Tarkin 2, 3, Gummy I appreciate that. Too many to choose from. That is true. But the video's been quite long. I have to admit, putting in the music takes so long. It really does. It might not seem like it, but yeah, you've got to put the right music in the right footage. You've got to put the tags in there. The fade up, the fade down. The volume up, the volume down to the point where it needs to be. But yes, it's a lot to think about. It takes absolutely ages. So it's a wrong decision to do that. You can tell me... <laughs> well, I call you nice things. You're a nice guy, that's why. How could one be horrible to Mr. Ward? Never. He's a legend, that dude. Right, so we'll go down here. This is a difficult era. We've got to jump some really, really early situations. There we go, it's fantastic. Yeah, because he's got fear of heights, that makes it difficult to do. Show the beast, cannot go wrong with show the beast. Let's give it now. Right. How you doing, Mr. Raw? Mr. Raw's also got a mini. We put a vote on there earlier, earlier on today, Mr. Raw. Was it 62% of people did not have one? I think that was something like that. Oh, poo! Killed by BB, 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 Can you play music? Uh, yes, I reckon so. Absolutely so. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? Sega? I'm right with that one. It's crazy, that's making sense. Hello to Matthew Davis, good to see you. Welcome to the stream, hope you're well. And Ginger Happy. Ginger. Sorry, Ginger Hippie. We well, might be ha happy. Happy Hippie, good to see you. Ginger Hippie Gaming, good to see you. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're well. Evil Wasp, are you surprised? Are you surprised? No. There we go, that's probably it now. Ratney's Island, that's fantastic. Yeah, that's really good. Really good. Right, so it's awesome chat. I've missed quite a few things here. Wings of Death level 5, Ratnitz Island 1, Harlequin is fantastic. Uh, Freehead Monkey, he'd love that as well. Um, Last Ninja 2 for Skinwalker, I hope you're well, Skinwalker. Daz Gamer, Blood Money, Competition Pro USB, works with these mini systems. Right. It's so nice! It's looks at it's my desk, it's working! Oh, dear my lord. There we go. Um, no, I'm leaning on the desk, look at this! Um, will you buy Amiga Maxi? Yes, I will. When we get it, if we get it. I'm sure we will. Yes, of course I will. Absolutely so. Will it stop me playing original Amiga? No, but we'll get it. Okay, absolutely so. <clears throat> Love to me getting my sensible world of soccer skills back and working through the whole of games at the moment. More than Infinity. Sensible world of soccer cannot beat that one. Swedish House would agree with that one. Do we nod in his head like that? Like a nodding dog? Yes. Look at this also, look at this. I mean, look how much, this is the headphones. Look how much cable there is. One thing I am really, really happy about is the cables. But for absolute ages, I've been saying that these cables aren't long enough. Now they're too long. Also, so many plug sockets are not being used. But yes, now there's no issues. It's not going right across the room. It's just brilliant. It's so good. Uh, Phil, yes, yeah, someone's already answered there, but yeah, it's carved up. And also, I've got to look up there now. Yeah, brilliant. Tarkin 2, I will do it for you, Gumdio. Absolutely so. 
A wonderful white Jonas Sisters, Bubble Bubble, of course, doesn't have to be media, do what you want, C4, Spectrum, PS1, PS2, whatever you like. Um, uh, Scheme Walker, yeah, that's great, isn't it? Can't go wrong with that one. Might have an issue with that one, but we'll see, we'll see. Mad Night Sky, hope you're well, by the way. Um... Yeah, Matthew Davies, welcome to stream, my friend. Retro Games, Soundtrack, Andrew DeBrine, Token 1 to 4, Calicus, R-Type, Wings of Death, Lethal Excess, Chambers of Shower League, Z out and Z on two. Yes, superb. I'm quite good, thank you. Are you satisfied, mate? I'm delighted. But it does seem uh, there's still a little thing, a few things I need to change. I mean, I'm still tweaking. Oh, long today I've added another light on the wall. Yesterday, last night, I tweaked the height of the screen. There's so much to do, but it's not it's not a chore anymore. It's not a problem anymore. Of course, it, it's the height of my weight. I love it. But yeah. Dino, yeah, Dino Blaster, hello to Chris, good to see you Chris, how are you? Welcome to the new room, which you can't see, I mean I can, but there's so much going on here, but it's not a problem now. I had an evil boss in my little room this morning, I had no idea where it came from. I've got so many in the conservatory, they, they fly in, they can't get out and they die. I've got actually, there's a bumblebee that's hanging from the ceiling, it's got stuck in a web, it couldn't get out and it's died, and it's swinging there like a light fixture. How are you doing, Chris? Good to see you, my good friends. Right, so of course, the keyboard is right over there. I need to solve this issue. Right, we'll go to a viewer now. So, what game do you want to see next? Like I say, I'm not going to stream for the ladies in this, but we've got Titus the Fox, Walker, Captain Dynamo, Cannon Fodder, and Xenon 2. Like the music of First Top Gear, SNES. Not played on the SNES before. Evening, Chris. Um, say about the Tokens Collector's Edition are shipping in a few months. I've actually got my SNES and Mega Drive ones now. I've recorded the unboxing part of it, but I haven't got round to doing the actual recording of the gameplay. But again, it's on my list. Cannon fodder? Awesome. Hello to Metopia. Good to see you. Hope you're well. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're well. Okay, cannon fodder? You just <laughs> and you picked another C one. That is fantastic. Jamie, you're looking at the wrong... Right, I've got two mouses on the go, three screens on the go. Yeah. Yeah, this, this this is the perfect opportunity now, because I haven't been able to stream a mouse game with a decent firm surface underneath the mouse. I've been using the sofa as a keyboard, so now it's a solid surface. Look, look I've got a little drum kit going on here. There we go, it's probably quite loud for you, isn't it? Um... Rest in peace, B. Yes, you can kill them with the right weapons. Jamie, click on that. That's fantastic. There you go. War has never been so much fun. I have got two box versions of this. Got the C32 and the Mega, but I can't show you the other one because, of course, it's green. Green screen's going to do its thing. But yeah, Donna Barster, I'll add that as well. Uh, like the first music of Top Gear, I'll add that as well. Did you let it out, killed it, or forced it back into the mini? Very glad to hear it. I'm okay, and I hope so. Mrs. War, did you have a, a nap in the end? Right. Put this music intro roll. First time we heard this the other day, what a, he was blown away with this. Right. Uh, Walker, okay, we'll play Walker soon. Quagers, hope you're well. Metro Memoirs, good to see you, pal. Good to see you. Cannon. Follow. I like what you did there. Let me know if there's any issues with the sound. Hope it doesn't go out of sync. Richard Joseph, rest in peace. A legend that went too early. Too young. <coughs> me, Utopia. How's life treating you? <coughs> what project have you been working on? <coughs> you know, it's the first choke since moving into here. Mm. There is, uh, no, no Cannon Fodder 3, Cannon Fodder 2, yes. <laughs> yeah, first time me and brother heard this for the first time, wow. We'd never heard anything like it before. This was all, this was before, we hadn't played Cannon, uh, Sensible Soccer. Of course, that had vocals as well. And Jops as well. I didn't know, that, I didn't know, that, I didn't know it was two that died. I didn't know that one. Hello, John Yu, good to see you. Awesome game, it's fantastic, isn't it? A long game, though. Really is long. Don't wait till you see the whites of their eyes. Don't kid yourself, it will be over by Christmas. Don't try to shut out the screams and don't forget to wash your hands afterwards. Cannon fodder, war has never been so much fun. 
touch through to the beat. Yes. I'm so pleased, I'm so happy it's working. Um No 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 Man Cave Hobbies, no, I'm not streaming it every week. No no no, I would like to. I would like to, but not yet. Not yet. No 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 no. Not yet. Continue the way we're doing it, but yeah, give it time. Give it time, my friends. I would like to. That's what I meant earlier on today. I would like to do it. Believe you me, I would love to. Don't choke. Oh, he did. <laughs> right. So of course now, there's no issues now. It's it's so much it's so much more comfortable. It's just brilliant. It's absolutely superb. Uh, most versions. Is Rusty James here? Did you did you squeeze in there? You did, didn't you? Where are you? Where are you? Rusty James. I didn't see you, my friend. But you crept in there. Good to see you. Rusty James, hope you're well. Um... <laughs> Mate, I've never finished it before. Never finished Cannon Follow before. But what a game it is, though. It's those Bazooka dudes. Uh, good song. Classic. War. <laughs> Oxo Good, hope you're well. Are Lemmings and Arts like the most converted game? Well, I think I've played more converted R-types than any other, I think. But yeah, I suppose Lemmings is... I don't know, maybe seconds? It might be seconds. But yeah, I think when it comes to R-type, I think that's the most versions I've played, I think. Right, mission one. Phase one of one. It's a jungle out there. With two soldiers, you must kill all enemy. Right. And of course, the TV is a lot closer now. It's, it's brilliant. There's so many positives. I have to admit, I've not found a negative yet. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to leave it a few weeks, and I'll do another video, and I'll talk to you about the positives and the negatives, and how I dealt with it. There we go. Fantastic. Short and sweet. The first one usually is. Don't let Jules die. I'll try my best not to. Um... Oh, I see. Jewels and Jobs always first to die. Yes, they could be. Tickle Pink. I am happy, mate. I'm really happy. But exhausted. I was. But I'm getting there. But this weekend, like I say, it's going to be editing. All weekend, editing. I've got so much editing to catch up on. But yeah, I'll get back to the usual videos once I've caught, caught up on my sleep. Yes, we used to do that the other day. Yes, we had a disc. We also did that for Living's 2, The Tribes. Yes, that was my brother's idea. Yeah, save the disc. I've got that disc somewhere. For both of them, actually. Yeah, I'm going to continue with Once a Fortnite, for now. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens, my friend. You've never played this type of game before. Oh, wowzers. Is it loud enough? Let me know. Well, I suppose it could go back a little bit more. Just finished Elden Ring on the PlayStation 5 and now I'm starting again on the Xbox. There we go, that's dedication for you. I'm going to have a retro day tomorrow on the CC4 Mini. Sounds good. You sneaked in, didn't you? Yeah. It's been painting today. If you click on the save icon, you can format a disc. I did a good format one though. That's interesting. There you go, cannon fodder. We've got some Wikipedia going on there. Thank you very much. The roof of the buildings you blow up are your greatest. Yeah, you can get killed more by doors and roofs. You can any reason in this game. Worms is a lot of systems too, absolutely so. It's, like, it's over 30, isn't it? Digestive system, it's a jungle out there. It's the main theme of Monk series, loving it. We are worms, we are the best, and we're going to win the war. It's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, of course, the Amiga CD32 version I've got, which is on CD. You can, yeah, you can play it on a CD audio hi-fi, which is fantastic. Yes, I did that with quite a lot of my discs. So, of course, it's the right mouse button to use your machine gun, grenades, bazooka, don't have them yet, but use the left. Brian Lyon, Brazilian Swords, roaring! Hello to Mike! A three-headed monkey has arrived on the scene. Good to see you. Uh, Chuck Horace goes skiing. I've never played that before. I could probably adjust that screen a tiny tadam, couldn't I? Good to see you, Mike. Hope you're well. I'm now streaming from a different area in my house. There wasn't many options, but this is the only option that I had, and I make the most of it. Hello to Hound Doggy, good to see you. How are you? Um, my favourite game, spent weeks on it back in the day. Well, this one. Uh, to clear out with Bane Daglish. Yeah, died too early, didn't he? Was he, he was 50, wasn't he? Unbelievable, isn't it? Uh, the roof, the roof. The roof is on fire. It will be. 
The roof, the roof, the roof could be deadly. Right, someone's in agony, it's fine. Leave them to it. It's me, it's me though, isn't it? Is it, is it clearer? Mate, that's fantastic. Mate, yeah, guys, feedback. I need your feedback, let me know. That's fantastic. It's clearer, is it? That's fantastic. Yeah, the, the microphone is actually not so far away from me now. But yes, I will be doing a video in the future. I'll be going over the positives and negatives. But I don't think it's going to be many negatives. There's so many positives. There's so many good things. And of course, now, when I finish, I just leave it set up. It's not a problem. I'll do a long play, leave it set up. But I've got to solve the mystery of getting the Amiga close to me. Or whatever I'm streaming at the time. I did finish it 30 years back. 30 years. There's like 70 levels, isn't there? I mean, the mission two is two phases. Yeah. Anyone just joined in? You've only missed two questions so far. Uh, your favourite musics and how many games do you name with misleading titles? Everything is better. Thank you, Max. Face complete. <laughs> yes. Right. Trouble has got two mouses on one mouse mat. Yes, that's for the computer. That is for the media. Uh, yeah, there's so many places to look. Um, Jasper's there, he's not fed up with me yet, he's still there, sleeping his head off. Not snoring though. Super clear sound, that's brilliant. I'm going to increase the volume of the game a little bit though, which again is easy, you don't do that anymore. Yeah. Weirdly, I enjoyed it, came from the desert on the Amiga, not sure why though. I've played it on stream once, I really do like it, but I didn't get far, but I would love to own that, but you got... Unfortunately, you got to pay quite a lot of money for that one. I want to get it in mint version anyway, but... I have to admit, I'm having a break from buying games. I've bought a single game this month because it's just getting stupidly priced. The price is getting stupid now. It's getting so greedy. Yes, I have spent a lot of money, but I can't keep doing it. You know, yes, I want to try and increase my collection to the best I can because I love doing it. But yeah, I don't want to spend ridiculous amounts of money for it. But of course, now, yeah, I've solved a really, really big problem in my house. So that's going to hopefully make things a lot more easier for me. Uh, this stream could do law likes. Hello to Robert Conan, good to see you. I appreciate that. Really do appreciate that. And of course, you can go in the water. Crazy, isn't it? You don't actually die in the water. But you can't shoot very often in the water. Only if it's shallow or if you stop swimming. You probably might be able to. You might get an occasional shot if you're lucky. But nine times out of ten, you can't really. But the enemy also can't really shoot in the water. So they're swimming for their lives. And you take their life away from them. Not at all. Cannon Follett soldiers can swim. They can. It's amazing, isn't it? Not many games you can swim these days. Or those days. The good old days. Or the now-now days. Great times. Sound is clear, but the game is... It's too loud for you. Are you, listening, are you headphones? Yeah, it could be an issue for people that don't use headphones or issues with people that do have headphones. Right, this area, we've got to try and find grenades, which could be... Tricky, if you haven't done it before. You don't want to shoot the grenades. You'll be killed by the door or the roof. And avoid the quicksand. Yes, there's, a, there's occasional times of quicksands. Yes. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. But you can shoot the barrels if you so wish. That's one way of doing it as well. There we go. We survived the roof. There we go. We survived. Jewels and jobs and stew. Live to fight another day. Live to fight another phase, should we say. It's fine on your TV. What size is your TV? I use it. Well, I have used the mouse quite a lot. But yes, this this is the this is the PC mouse, and this is the Mega mouse. But yes, I'm using the original hardware. No emulation here. Jamie, your tears going cold. It's so much nicer. It's it's just nice to have a solid surface underneath it. 42 inch. I had to buy myself a new TV in here. Such a great game. Um, Jamie, it's easy to add games to the Mega Mini. I used to add them on the C64 Mini and PlayStation Classic. I've not, I've not modded the Classic PlayStation yet. Yeah, I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. Yeah, I've not done it apart from just buy that USB. But I had to do that. I had to dodge the bullet. I was too busy doing this project. That's a Mr. Evil Baz. Good to see you, buddy. And it's 4K HDR. Fantastic. You little show off, you. I don't have a 4K. Hey, I'm on the big screen. It's 4K 42 inch TV. Look at me go. There you go. Um, so yeah, three headed monkey. We've got three TVs as well, one each head to watch. We've got three sets of headphones to listen to. 
Me games can't be played on emulation hardware. It just can't. I can't show you my Amiga, like I say, but yeah, this is my 1200. But at the moment of time, it's just far too far away from me. I've got to try and solve how I'm going to make it possible to get it on this table. What I need to try and do is somehow raise the keyboard up. I need to try and have the, the, the keyboard raised up to allow something to go underneath it, like the Amiga keyboard. That would be brilliant. So it would be keyboard above keyboard. So if anyone knows any links to any sort of shape or form of ways you can raise a keyboard, which would be a big enough support to go around an Amiga. And of course, the Amigas are quite large, quite wide, so I need to go over that. But yes, let me know. Yes, yeah, brilliant, isn't it? It's superb music. It really is good. Right, so we're going all right so far. Evening, chaps. Great game. Hope you're well, my friends. Uh, this port part is brilliant, isn't it? And music super. It's good, isn't it? I don't like seeing the screen when they die, though. You see the, the tombstone. Uh, gravestones. That's, yeah, it's great, mate. Yeah, I've heard that a few times. <laughs> uh, Mr. Raw, Lotus 2, Product X, Tarkin 2, Battle Squadron, End Screen. Battle Squadron, End Screen, I will get copyrighted on that. I always do. But that is brilliant. That is super. That gives me goose goosebumps, that one does. Uh, Jim Power, Epidia, End Screen. See, that one doesn't give me a copyright. It's crazy, isn't it? It's absolutely crazy. It doesn't make sense. Um, for some reason, I only played CF2, but never ended. Tried with some codes without luck. I know people can finish it, but it's very hard. First part is easier. Sorry, sorry that, Xavier. I'm going to miss your comment there. I wonder if, if it's because you are in a smaller room. It's, 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 it's tough to tell, really, because, of course... It's just a different size, isn't it? The living room is a bit of an unusual shape. It's more of an L shape, isn't it? But yeah, this is a square. But yeah, it could be something different because of the size of the room. It could, it could, it could well be. It's a good shout. But yeah, appreciate that, guys, for the, uh, the requests for music. It all helps. Adding music is also an important factor to the videos. You don't want to hear me jibber-jabbing all the time. You've got some music to tap your foot to. Uh, Lotus 2 is fantastic. Mate, Mr. Raw, how far have you got on Lotus 2? Um, scroll down. Uh, yeah, most anywhere games cost a lot these days. Yeah, I ain't got many though. I've got uh, a box version of, in fact I've got two actually, of the Three Stooges. Uh, I've got a box version of Rise of, Lords of the Rising Sun, I think it's called. And also I've got Wings. That's a very long game, though. That is really long. But yeah, cinema games. Amazing. Ah, oh, I've got a notification for Bidmat Soft. That's fantastic. I think my order's on the way. Ah, oh, brilliant. Uh, yeah, look out for the roof. Yes, the roof, the roof, the roof can be deadly. You can be killed by a roof. But it's very easy to be killed by a roof. That or a door. So if you're going to blow up the door, don't stand in front of it. You will get hit by it. You will be killed by it. You could actually lose all of them in one go. But yeah, it's difficult when you're trying to shoot the enemy when they're uh, lurking around the crates. But anyway, I'm not going to play this too long. Come this way. Bingo. Yeah, the amount of times we've done that by mistake, and of course you, 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 you can't get out of that situation. You need... Grenades. You cannot blow up a house with your gun. Dead. No, no one's dead yet. No one's deaded yet. That's good. But yes, many have been killed by a roof before. It's the most unlikely way to be killed in a game, isn't it? How was you killed? By a roof. A roof? Was you on the roof? No, I was actually on the ground. The roof landed on me. Kill all enemies, and that survive. You did that time. You finished it, mate. That's amazing. Well done, Mr. Raw. I haven't done that. Hello to Chris, Mags. Good to see you. Loving your C4 uh, 8500 Mini. Thank you very much. So much nostalgia. Uh, can't wait to get my 1200 and C32 for my parents. At it. That's fantastic. Welcome to the stream. I really appreciate that. Is that a penguin? Is that a tattoo? I appreciate that. Yeah, I was really happy with that. It took me two days to do. I was really happy with that. I, I don't think I could have done any more than that. But yeah, I don't do many reviews, I've done three so far, and I think all of them turned out really good. Unfortunately, it was one week late doing it, because I'm doing this magic project in my house, which took four weeks, but... 
It's not done, 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 but it's pretty much there. A roof? I got better. Uh, what hole fell off the roof and died? Really? My lord, what's he doing on the roof? Right, these areas get be bombarded by soldiers. We do have a limited amount of bullets, but not a limited amount of grenades. It is! It is! Is that it? That should be it. OG Generation, that's great. I did a long play of that. Good game. Loved it. Didn't play any other days though. That's one I found out about later in my life. Again, if we do the channel. Um, yes, fixed his area horn. <laughs> oh really? Oh, he's fixing his area when he fell off his roof and died. Oh my god. Someone edited files created next to WHD Load on Amiga Mini to show all emulator options and they can be mounted disk and run ADF files. But WHD Load is also very comfortable. Yes, mate, there's gonna be, yeah. I didn't, I didn't even know, I didn't notice, I didn't notice. Um, yeah, there's, there's, there's gonna be so many people modding them. There's gonna be so many people adding things to it. Um, yeah, people are gonna put retro pies in it. There's gonna be so much going on. Um, but yeah, of course, it's, it's, it's brilliant. It is really good. It just needs a joystick. That's the only thing it needs a joystick and a fu fully functioning keyboard. But apart from that, it's brilliant. Yeah, G Generation is a classic. Anyone play G Generation? I started on the mini and it seems like a good game. I cannot remember if you need a keyboard for that one. You might well do. You might well do. But I long played it, it was a long time ago. You need a riser. Uh, I My CD32 has got a riser. Um, yeah, I've got one. For the C32. Hello JD, good to see you. If I all follower, hi Jamie, new setup looks great. I play Cannon Fodder on CD32 with CD version. I play nicely with gamepad, not gamepad controller, but KTL pad. Good to see you, my friend. Sorry I missed you there. And retro memoirs hope you're well too. Yeah, I'm using headphones, just screw man. But try avoid quicksand, they can't swim. They can't swim in that either. Keith Harris. Will you put in the tweaks in your next vlog or have you finished all the filming? I've done most of it, Mr. Raw, but there's a few things I need to add. But yeah, like I say, I keep tweaking this, keep tweaking that. A little tweak here and there to get it perfect. But yeah, the green screen's alright. It's, it's a fraction too close to my chair. But I keep doing this all the time. So I'm, I'm sort of showing off a little bit, but I can't keep doing it. I don't want to hit it with my green, uh, hit the back of the chair. Continue. I don't know what I clicked on there. So we've got one, unfortunately we've got one there. But again, it's just so it's performing so well. Do you accuracy or stamina Do you accuracy or stamina on the soldiers increase with ranks? I have tried to increase their ranks, yeah. I haven't I don't know what the highest rank is. But yeah, it, it takes some time to get there. But yeah, if you're really, really good at the game, yeah, it gets really, really good rankings. Well I'm gonna do one more and move on. There's someone at the door. Oh yes, that's the door. I never got back. Yeah, the witch. Yeah, good old days. She had a massive warp there, didn't she? Yeah. Yeah, she couldn't stream, could she? Her face get erased by the green screen. We see his teeth and eyeballs. Hong Kong Fui tonight. I can add it. I've never played it before. I'll add it. Hong Kong Fui. I'll add it to the list. Right, one more. We'll do one more. Got a lot to get through. And also, I don't have a clock in here. So I have to use my watch. It's nine o'clock. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't know why I'm holding my joystick. I don't need it in this game. Oh, she's died. Oh, my Lord. It's sad to see. There's so many... All these characters. All these actresses and actors that we grew up with. It's sad to see. It's awful. I hate it. Not just TV programs, but also films. It's devastating. I hate it. It's like Only Falls and Horses, for example. It's a classic. We've lost so many now. We've lost Trigger. We've lost Boise. Um, Alan Grelbert and Grandad. Um, it's, it's, I hate it. I, I really don't like it. It's upsetting. Right, we've got four grenades. Of course, we can split them up. Jasper is now here. Are you going to join on stream? Right, Jasper's going to jump onto the window. No, he's not going to jump onto the window. What's the cause of death? Does anyone know? 
Yeah, there was a, there was a few, wasn't there? There was um, there's a few old school programs with witches. Um, not Teenage Witch. I wasn't thinking of that one. There was another one where the, uh, the boy's name was called T-shirt. I can't remember what the other one was. But she didn't have green skin. Babylon 5, I remember that, yeah. Keep your chin up, Rodders. Um, yes, the guy that... Yeah, Orville. Yeah, the guy that... Yeah, he, he died as well, didn't he? I can't remember his name, though. But yeah, I, I did watch that. Also, the guy that did Bodger and Badger. He died a few years ago, didn't he? He loves mashed potato. Well, Badger, well, Bodger did, anyway. No, Badger, sorry. Badger did. Well, they both did, really. But yeah, it's horrible. You see it on a daily basis, pretty much, don't you? A weekly basis. It's horrible. Superground, remember that one? Yeah, I remember that. There was quite a lot, wasn't there? But again, we had it so good. We really did. The old days were the best. Tea bad. That's the one. That is the one. Tea. Tea. There you go. Round the twist? No, but I remember Round the Bend. I've been watching a lot of Round the Bend. Brilliant. No, I don't... I've heard of Round the Twist, but I've never actually seen Round the Twist. But I do get myself in quite a major twist sometimes. When we're in statistics really, really fast. Trollton and the Wheelies. That rings a bell. Hello to Jonathan. Good to see you. Got bags. Pink Windmill Witch. Oh, Lord, yeah. Was it six... I don't know. Six years ago, was it? Mike in the pub, yeah. The formatting process is great in CF. I formatted my disc just because it's the jokes during the format process. Ah. Ah! Oh, Lord, I'm not paying attention. How did he not shoot me? Uh, Wizard Door, I remember that. I do, I do, I do. Hello to... Oh, hello to King. Hello to King Arthur. Rent a ghost. That rings a bell, too. How did that guy not shoot me? Uh, have you ever seen, have you ever felt like this? When strange things happen, are you going round the twist? It rings a bell. It does ring a bell. Ring-a-ding-ding. Ring-a-ding-dong. Terrorhawks. My lord. Get that memory lane, isn't it? Right, we've got to do some serious swimming. Hope you guys got your swimming trunks. You're going to need them. But we can't fire. But then he's doing exactly the same thing. Anyway, Dance Gamer, hope you're well. How has your fortnight been? Billy Connors sang the theme tune for Supergrant. I didn't know that. He's, he's been poorly as well, isn't he? So I, believe, I think that is quicksand. I think it is. Right, I think we'll do one more and then we'll move on. Right, get those. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Bat thing, I remember that. Oh, mate, we had it so good. We had it so <laughs> Why would Charlie Far like that one? Yeah, he's got, he doesn't like bats in games. What about Bat Fink? Did you ever maybe watch that? But you like to watch my streams back. Maybe you always watch it back. Yeah, Bat Fink. Is that a tree? It is a tree. They blend in, don't they? Like the cars in the fog level. It looks too. Total challenge. Danger Mouse, brilliant. I was watching a little bit of Count Duckula uh, a couple of weeks ago, but got home from work. Got it on DVD. There we go. The ambient sounds are great in CF. Inspector Gadget, go go gadget, phrase complete. Love it. Do you know what? I still not found that Inspector Gadget video case. I, I've got the video. I can't remember the case. I put the case down somewhere. I can't find it. That's also going to be a problem with me. Now I've got to try and find where I put things. But yeah, the PC is under the table. I've got plenty of space. I don't want to, to stretch my legs too much. There's so many pugs going on down there. But yeah, cables, there's hardly any now. They're not going strange distances. They're not going long range distances. It's so good. Peer pressure. Hello to me, old school. Words of Gummage, I watched that as well. Yeah, it's so good. Really did. Right, the last one. Pardon me. I'm going to Walker. Grain Shield by the Grove. Biker! Biker, biker, grow. Yeah. It's crazy, isn't it? I didn't really like school, but I went home after school and watched a program based on school. Crazy, isn't it? Ugh! Look at that. You survive. You lucky, lucky jobs. That's not a nice way to end it, but is it? 
That was nearly a four hit combo. He's jumping for joy, not because he finished, because he survived. Trapdoor, that is fantastic. Real goes past the tip in the turtle, now you're talking. Victor and Hugo, that is a one that never ever really gets mentioned. I love that one. Yeah, burglars. And that dog, they get Nick in his pants. As you heard right, Nick in his pants. He runs up his trouser leg and steals his pants and runs off of them. That guy gets through a lot of pants. <laughs> Super grand. Finished people. Well, I'm going to move on to the game now. Bagpuss, that was before my time. That was, that was 1950s, was it? Uh, right. Brilliant. Uh, right, going to another Walker. Another superb game that was requested, I think, was next. Uh, yeah, I've actually got two boxes of this, and also I'm so much closer to the webcam now. Yeah. Right, Walker. Walker. We have a question, another question, another question. Let's go on to the letters game, shall we? Um, we are currently at. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Right, okay. What are your top three me games? Begin with letter Q. Yes, good luck. There's not many. There we go. Or just go for one. If you want, it's up to you. <laughs> for those of you new to the channel, we're doing one of these every stream. Every stream. Um, let's move that along a little bit. Me old school. I hope you're well, Adam. Good to see you, my friends. I'm not streaming in the living room anymore. Not anymore. Um... Me old school, uh, Milk Walker intro in this one is the best ever. It's brilliant, isn't it? It's brutal, but brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. But yes, you can either use keyboard. Back in the other days, me and my brother did. It was keyboard and mouse. Because I can't reach the keyboard, we have to use zip stick and mouse. It was a good combination. And also, put the zip stick on the table, put the suction cups, keep it firmly in place. Born in the 70s, quack. I had a funny feeling. Many of you are probably going to say quack. Um, yeah, lots of quacks there. I've actually wrote them all down. We've got... Well, let's, let's start the game up first. Let's start the game up first. Um, but yeah, this boom... Again, me and my brother blew, was blown away by this game. One of our friends copied us it. We hadn't heard of it before. But what a game. What a game it was. Is. Crunch? Yeah, uh, we've got Quick the Thunder Rabbit. Quick Silver Pinball. Quest of Agravain. Quest for the Time Bird. Question of Sport, Quest for Glory 2, Quack, Question 2, Quadral, Quadralian, Quartz, Kicks, and Cubics. I think that's the only ones that I can see anyway. Um, I'll go for that one. So yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I'm going to pick out of those, Quack, Cubic, and Quick the Thunder Rabbit. It's probably the only ones I've played. I think I have played Kicks. I think I have played quicks. Not played, not played Question of Sport. But I used to watch it a lot of the other days. I like the original lineup the best. Yeah. I love this the, the, the suspense of it. What a game. My choice is identical to gadgets. I missed gadgets comment there. Quicks Quest for Glory and Quest for Glory Two. Uh, Cuba is good. I love that. So your last video moving everything around. Me, yeah, me old school. I'm going to be editing it this weekend. Quick and Silver. That's not on there, is it? Good call. Yes. But it's called The Adventures, though, isn't it? The Adventures of Quick and Silver. It starts with A. But we'll let you have that. You're an awesome dude. You can have that, Gumdio. Uh, quest something. Yeah, Quest for Glory. It says Quest for Glory 2. I, couldn't, I didn't realise Quest for Glory 1 was on the media as well. I've not played any of them. There's a naughty rainbow clip. In YouTube. Really? The cartoon about burglars stealing pants. Yes, check it out. Walker intros. Yeah, here we go. Is it in the shop? It looks really lo. Trouble is, my, my screen is very high now, so it always, it always looks too dark for me. Alright, here we go. Well, I'm not going to leave that on there for too long because there's not really actually many answers. Not many games, really. We'll let it roll a little bit so I can read this awesome chat. Wait a minute, Adam, good to see you. Chuggle Brothers, I used to watch that a lot. Rainbow, yes, watched it a lot. Josh Tours and Soy Mike, my friend, good to see you there. Congratulations on the new setup. I have a 800 on pre order, but never, have never so much ever touched on a real me in your heart and your life. In fact, that was one of the first things I chatted to you. 
Mate, I'm so sorry I missed you there. Good to see you. Yes, mate, your PC is working super well, and now it's got a proper place, and it's getting used at its full potential. Yeah, for those of you new to the channel, Mr. Josh Toulson is an amazing dude. He actually built this PC for me from scratch, and it's been a tough task to get it in place, but it's finally got a decent place. It's not in the way. It's not bombarded by cables. It's brilliant. It's there. It's brilliant. It's, it's working super well. Nightmare? Oh my lord, don't get me started on Nightmare. What a, what a program that was. Is. Still is. Here's a special news bulletin. Deadly Roof. Yeah, that took three people. Children's Ward. Yeah, I, f yeah, I watched that as well. That was all about midday, wasn't it? Thunderbirds. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so many quacks there. That's a nutcracker. Quibbly. Well, it was Mr. Quibbly, wasn't there? Yes, again, it's M, but we'll let you have that. Kicks, Crystal Royal, Wolverine, 2, Cuba. Yeah, Cuba, that was good. Quack? Yeah, go for Quack. Or Quake, in this case. Games Master? Mate, we were sport for choice. We had it so good. We had it so good. It was so good. I don't watch any TV now. Which I think is the right thing. I think I made the right decision. We had it so good back in the days. Didn't play many games, did more drawing and music on the ST and Amiga. Can you tilt it? I can, I, I don't know you're too crazy, I keep doing it, it's a habit. I've done it for like 14 years, and now I'm trying to catch up with the 14 years I haven't done it. It's been about 14 years of the last of a desk like this. It's brilliant. Magic Roundabout, yeah. Astro Farm, Button Moon, Funhouse, brilliant. <laughs> Hurricane. That's sort of thing that Mr. Energy Blind would do. But you can do that. Quimble Fantasies and Quim Hearts. That's quite difficult to say though. The Rolf Harris, yeah, I watched that. Rolf Harris' Cartoon Club. Cool Track, Bottom Leap, yeah. Tony Hart, yeah. Button Moon. You hated Charles War. Well, I suppose, yeah, it's not the right reason, is it? You can't really enjoy something like that. Um, pre Harry Potter, I did a mark on our school trip. Tony Hart was a great show. Yeah, so did I. Like lots of that. That was a uh, morph, wasn't it? Yeah. He didn't speak any English, did he? That, that morph guy. He just made noises, didn't he? Right. F1. Right, we need a joystick. Jamie, joystick. Right. However, this is not going to be simple. It's, it's going quite some distance. Right, sort that out. Guys, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it, thank you. Thank you for continuing support. I'm a happy... <laughs> I'm a happy boy. Not finished yet, but... The majority of it is done. The most part of it is done. Jim, we've got catch up in his chat now. Pingu! I love Pingu! Little house on the... Yes, I remember that. It was so good, wasn't it? Highway to Heaven. Hello to Right Red Gaming the Horse. Hello there. How's the new setup game? Mate, I love it. I love it. Good to see you. Morph gave me nightmares. That little... We're keeping it clean here. <laughs> I'm not going to say that. It, it, well, that's not good though. We, do you know what? we got a person at work called Morph. Yes, but he's been ill for the last six months. I'm seen him. I think he's got depression. Yeah, we also had a guy called Mario, but he left a long time ago. Um, right, so, <coughs> right, suction cups are working. So this game, of course, you have the temperature of your gun. Right, you're looking at the wrong screen, that will help. So we've got the lock button and the shoot button. Right, Woolworths, Woolworths, I love Woolworths. Didn't buy many games from there, not on Amiga anyway. It's mostly CD singles, VHS videos. And a few PlayStation 1 games. I remember buying uh, Street Fighter EX2 Plus from there. And Street Fighter EX Alpha. Pulled back from there as well. Right, let me know if it's too loud. But it does sound very explosive in my headphones. But not as loud as I think it could be. Uh, surprisingly, there's no in-game music. Did he take mushrooms? <laughs> no, he didn't. No, he didn't actually. He might do. He was, a, he was fussy though. He didn't have a moustache either. He had a beard. He was quite grumpy. He was responsible for the cleaning of the of the equipment. 
If you, if you did clean your buckets well enough, you just complain. Excuse me, can you take this bucket back, please, and scrape out a little bit more of that colour? I'm not cleaning it. You refuse to clean it. You wouldn't have turned down a mushroom, though, would you? Make you grow double in size. Just squishing Goombas with. Night Rider and Airwolf were the best. Uh, this was fun, but hard game. It is difficult, isn't it? I think I've got to area three. But it's, it's just, I mean, again, me and my brother were absolutely blown away. The, the mechanics of it, I mean, when he moves his head around, it is just absolutely mind-blowing. We've never seen anything like it before. And we kept thinking, are we the good guy or are we the bad guy? I wasn't sure. We wasn't sure. But we just enjoyed blowing stuff up. But apparently you can actually do this as two player. One of you is the gun, and one of you is the direction. I suppose more fun with the gun, but not so much fun with the movements. Uh, hello to Dry Link. Good to see you, my friend. How are you? The concept of this game is actually pretty terrifying. A giant mech blowing people up. Yes, yeah, it's, it's all about future, isn't it? Goes back in time, but like the um, it's a Turrican. Terminator. Sounds fine. Hello, gaming fan. This is such a fun but hard game. It is. It is really good, though. No time limit, though. Air is clear. It's the most awesome machine of mass destruction. Let's try and do this. Let's try and multitask, shall we? It's the most awesome machine of mass destruction ever to stalk your screen. Filled with the most powerful screen cannons yet developed and the real mean attitude. The walker has the destructive power of an eight atom bomb. Or eight bomb, I'm say. Um, and a charisma of the Kalashnikov, I can't say that. Featuring a unique control system which gives you total control over the movements and attack capabilities of the fearsome war monster. The only walker leash in the imagination is the smell of battle. Are you sleepy, are you? Oh, sap, sorry. I was sleepy from there. I was earlier. Yeah, good to see you, White Red Gaming the Horse. Good to see you. Normally I see you on Twitch, but you're here now. Good to see you. Uh, but yeah, gaming fam, welcome to the stream. Tell me more about yourself. Sound is fine. Appreciate that, Max. Uh, I miss you guys streaming. Any chance you might have, might do one more. Oh, Anthony sold his equipment. He sold everything. He's moved on. But happy for him, though. What's up, Doc, for the Batman animated series? The Rat in... 40 is your favourite episode, or 40 Towers. Yeah. Brilliant, isn't it? Unfortunately, it wasn't enough, because apparently it absolutely wore him out. It was a, a tough role to play. He did it very well. But yeah, he, he was exhausted after playing that part. His energy was off the, off the scale. Also, you cannot fire behind you. So yes, when the temperature is maxed out, you've got to ease off the button, let it cool down before you can fire again. It's a very, very tactical game. But yeah, you don't want to be shot at, keep the distance, fine. Um, giant mechs make everything better. Yeah, that's true, actually. Now, when we played it on the Amiga 500 first, of course, we didn't have the background speech. But, you know, this plays on a 500, and then, again, what an amazing thing. This proves the Amiga 500 was capable of doing. What a machine. Amiga makes it possible. So when your shield runs down, you start to take damage. So yes, so basically you've got two bars, basically. Cleaves are plans. Oh, did he? I didn't know that. Finders Keepers is fantastic. Yes. Couldn't do it here, though. It's only four weeks to tidy it up. Don't do that now. Don't make it untidy again. Yeah, New Buchanan was brilliant on that. Yeah, don't do it at home, people. And ignore your parents. Um, the sequel to this and second sequel to Z Wolf would have been great for me, especially if they took advantage of the AG. Yeah, that'd have been good, wouldn't it? Maybe you're approaching. I was going to ask that as well. Uh, had some good segments. The glove mm, hands freaked me out, though. Yeah, it was freaky. No Swedish. He has a place with a, a fish tank and a girlfriend. Let's hope he doesn't keep the girlfriend in the fish tank. Only fools would do that. He's all got the bits mem memories in there. Pat is the DJ on Greatest. He's not really. Well, Pat Sharp. Yeah. It's like Neil Buchanan. He was also in the band, wasn't he? 
I'm fairly good guitarist. I'm also a great artist. I ain't like Mr. Raw as well. <laughs> We're not old! We just had it so good, that's what we did. We're still young, but we had it so good. We're just reliving the great times. Not just programs, but games as well. You know, a 30 year old machine, I'm still playing some amazing games with amazing people. I don't know how many viewers we've got. How many doing for viewers, people? Yeah, that lock is superb. It really is good. We'll just do the one level. We'll defeat the boss, hopefully, and we'll move on. 52, that's fantastic. Oh, you're, fi you're 52. That was 42. That's confusing. 42 watching, you're going to be 52 in a few weeks. I'm glad I just remember most of it. Mate, happy birthday f for when your birthday is going to be. At 52, you're still young, my friends. I'm going to be 40 this year. I'm 40 in August. Walk it, it's a sci fi movie, would be Yeah, it'd be brilliant, wouldn't it? It would be a lot more better if it was in the 90s. Yes, it could do it now, but yeah, it would be CGI, wouldn't it? That'd be brilliant, wouldn't it? It'd be a complicated story, though, wouldn't it? Um, yes, Jamie, but actually got you on YouTube this time. Yeah, no, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Throw grenades. Sometimes the small ones are the worst. About 999957, too few viewers. Mate, that's, that's so kind of you to say that. The channel will never get that big. <laughs> never get that big. But my, my goal is 2,000 subscribers. And that will be the next quiz. And I have to admit, I've already thought of some questions. I don't want just normal ones. I want to try and spice it up a little bit. Try and make it as interesting as possible. Super Ted, I used to watch that as well, and sp is it Spotty? Yeah. Banana Man was good as well. You just take an item and build on it. There you go. Banana, we'll build on that. Banana Man. He's a banana, he turns into a superhuman. Right. Been watching your vlog, mate, appreciate that. Thank you so much. There'll be one more to go. Um. Probably did have assistance. Always like Spotty. <laughs> I didn't get on well with, with Super Ted. No idea why. I don't even remember Super Ted. Yeah. Um, I don't know how many series there was. It was good. But I think it was. It was. A, I suppose in a way. I think it was similar to Ray Doll. I think he was a reject, wasn't he? I think he was. He got thrown out. I can't remember now. And he got, he got given special powers. I remember that bit where he's rubbing his eyes and all of a sudden someone flies in and does a spell on him and he turns into a super, super teddy bear. Raggy dolls, yeah, there was a reject, wasn't there? Uh, you had Sad Sack, Back to Front, you had Dotty, you had that one with a funny voice. Yeah, Sad Sack had too much stuff in, didn't he? Back to Front, his head was on the wrong way. Uh, Dotty was splattered with paint. You had one with a dodgy voice. You had the one that was... There was a hundred of them and there was one extra. She was an extra. Uh, one where his arm fell off, where his legs fell off, or both. I don't, can't remember now, but yeah. Again, simple idea. This is so good. Um... Sean P, Tomorrow's End was the sequel rights. Eric. Tomorrow People had Christopher Lee. Yeah. Hello to Ox. Good to see you there. The Walker in Majora. Don't shoot like it. Oh, ah. <laughs> How are you? Welcome to the stream, my friend. Hope you're well. Yeah, for those of you who haven't been following my vlogs, yes, I've been streaming in my living room, doing videos in the living room, long plays, all been happening in the living room for five years. Now, I'm not in there anymore. I've moved everything from one room to another. It was the only other possibility. But yeah, it's taken me a long time. But it will be a third part of the vlog. That'll be the final one. I'll be editing that this weekend. Well, I'm not using the Mega Mini. This is my Mega 1200. What's my status? I've been attacked by a great big massive group. 
There you go. Boom and pow! Jamie's made it torch. You know what? I've never seen it because I was, that was a bit before my time. But every single job I've had in my past, they've all mentioned it. And I've never seen it before. I've heard the, f the intro. That's the only thing I've seen and heard. I didn't know what they were talking about, but why do people keep calling me Jamie and Bennett Talk? Every job I go to, and I realise that there's an old school programme. Yeah, that was before I was born, that one. And Wordsworth, the dog. The 80s calling black label adverts. They were good, wasn't they? Yeah, even adverts were good back then. Is that the Jack D one? Is that Should we wait for the temperature to run down? Let it cool down. Like it does cool down quite quickly, but also heats up very quickly too. It does need AG up, but yeah. And it's amazing, you know, this works on a 500. It's amazing. When Eric eats a banana, yes. Yeah. I'm wearing the right colour, aren't I? Did someone have a two left feet? No. Uh, I think the arm, his, the arm fell off. No, but one had his head the other way round. Um, back to front, which makes sense, yeah. Thank God it's Friday. Been a lot of years since I went there. Restaurant. Right, boss battle will move on after this one, but yeah, we've got to destroy the rocket. Yeah, I've never finished it before. Right, my shield is critical. It's fine. Boss battles have energy bars. Yo, yo, yo! Hello, Pop! Good to see you! <laughs> Hope you're well, my friends. Hope you're well, just don't hurt yourself anymore. I know it was quite some time ago, but don't do it again. Don't do it again. Unfortunately, he can't fly that far. John Spears, yeah, of course, there was the, um... Uh, Peter K as well, wasn't there? Right, oh, I'll do one more. Let's have a question. Um... Okay, something completely utterly different. What was the first ever game that you disliked? It doesn't have to be Amiga, but it can if you want to. But yeah, the first game, any system, that you didn't like. Right, I'm going to have a sip of drink. Giant Tombstone. I think he... I think the left foot was the theme... Oh, I see. Young Ones. Bought that on DVD. Uh, Hitman and Her. Mr. Ben, Magic Talks. Too early for you. When were you born, Mark Gordon? Um, now, Mr. Smith's house. Be gentle on... Be, be gentle with US Gold. It probably is one of those, isn't it? Glad you don't decide to move the stream into the kitchen. That would be... That would be, that would be difficult, wouldn't it? It's a pizza, I remember that. Yeah, just get some junk and make something out of it. Yeah. Uh, then you had our host on here, Jamie's Made It Torch. Yes. Jamie. Thank you, Get It UK. I appreciate that. You're glued to them. Thank you. Yeah, next one, I haven't even started yet. You were trash, I remember that. Yes. Snuggles is a classic. I don't know that one. Oh, is that the one with funny lips? I don't know. I might have made that up. <sighs> right. Um, what time is it? I need a clock. I don't have a clock in here. Um, right. Uh, what time is it? I've still got quite a few games to play. Right, make sure we tick them off the list. So Carver, played. Cannon fodder, played. Walker, we are playing. I'll do one more. Um. Um. Who members of terrifying public information commercials of the 80s, 90s? What's better if you remember the times? Uh, John Smith's oh, was the best. Dragon Slayer. You didn't like it, no? You didn't like it, no? That was the first one you played. Thundercats. Ooh, I love that game. Uh, always remember the green cross codes. Devils of the Deep for the Specky. I don't know that one. Final Force 2. Yeah, I was really disappointed with that. Uh, but that's just quite a long time to go without actually disliking a game. That was PlayStation 1 and Dreamcast, of course. Uh, first game was so good on PlayStation, then the sequel, yeah. First was great, second was a big letdown. 
Went to play this on the 8500 Mini, but quickly realised I couldn't move forwards. Oh, yes, yes, that's a problem, isn't it? Yeah. But then you have got the, the controller. You have to use the controller, wouldn't you? Yeah, that's a good point. You'd want to use a, that'd be a nightmare, wouldn't it? On a keyboard. Um, yeah. I keep looking at the wrong screen. Pardon me. Bio, he says. Um, E.T. I've never played it before. World Cup year, classic TV stream, <laughs> very much so. And don't forget, protect and survive. Uh, Sim Earth was yours. Uh, Days of Thunder on the Mega was yours. Max, uh, Dad, sorry. Max, Mech Ride on Nez, I guess. We hated, really hated that game. Uh, went to play this, forgot they needed a keyboard for that. World Cup year, I don't know that one. 2030 for you. Nightmare on the CD4. What a letdown. I was so disappointed with that. Pumped for that. Disappointed. I just like the Great Escape, although perhaps young me was wrong and could give it another go. Charlie says, don't play with dynamites. I am certain it was a Vic-20 game, but cannot remember its name. Yeah, I was very easily pleased in my t younger years. Enjoyed mm, almost everything until my... See, I was quite easy to please. There wasn't many I disliked. I mean, I liked so many games that many, many people don't. Which we've discussed quite a few times in the past. So yes, I was very easy to please. But I, I'm struggling to think the first one I disliked. I didn't play Mr. Blobby game back in the day. Uh, but I didn't quite like the game, actually. I just don't like the character. Right, so of course, enemies are going to be more enhanced, more advanced. But it's fine, we should be okay. You can't get any additional weapon upgrades. This is all you have. Elite. I've never played Elite. Um, yeah, I'm very easy to play in my younger days. Enjoyed almost everything until my your teens. Passengers of the Wind, 1987, graphics novel. No gameplay. It, I was not prepared. Had Xenon at first, but then grew to love it. The Amiga version of Outrun. Yeah, I didn't play it on the Amiga back in the other days. It took me quite some time to play my very first one of that. But yeah, that was a travesty, wasn't it? What was going on there? I mean, anyone watching this that makes games, remake, please, Outrun on Amiga. The Amiga deserves a better Outrun. Outrun Europa was good. I did like that. That was good. Xenon, I liked it, but again, I didn't play it in other days. I played it in the other order. Xenon 2 was the first one I played in uh, uh, mid 1989, which of course was the turning point of wanting Amiga so badly. But yeah, it took me years to play Xenon. I think I saw it in a magazine, and I just thought, well, that looks nothing like Xenon 2. So I wasn't really that sort of keen to play it. But it's good. Once you got used to it, it's very good. I don't have a box version of it, though. But yeah, it's just a completely, utterly different experience. It's not on the same page, is it? Do you know what, Mr. Rusty James, the other day, I actually did look on eBay. I typed in Mr. Blobby on the Mega. I was actually tempted to buy it. And it was 50 quid. I thought, I'm not spending 50 quid on Mr. Blobby. But yeah, I quite like the look of the game. I just don't like the character. But the look of the game is good. These, I love these ones. You keep shooting, they fly into the air. Now also, like uh, Empire Strikes Back, they can grab onto you, they climb into your the back of your walker, put a bomb in there, and explode. Which is an amazing touch of this game. It's too much. I'd, I'd probably, I probably would spend twenty, thirty pounds for Mr. Blobby. Before it's mint, of course, but not fifty. But I am trying to be very, very good. I am trying to be good. Now those who actually drop mines, you can deal with those. But again, having no time in it is a brilliant thing. Um, I'm trying to think of mine. I'm just trying to think of the first game I disliked. I'm really struggling because I was very, very easy to please. You know, we was really new to the scene. And it was just a wow factor. Um, I don't know. Probably Dangerous Streets. That was on the C32. Yeah, that was, again, what a terrible game that was. But like I say, there's so many games that many don't like that I absolutely love. I'm not going to mention them, though. You know what they are.
Oh, it's not Zenon 2. You're going mad. Uh, first game of dislike was Kung Fu Master on the ZX Spectrum. Totally terrible port. Uh, Mr. Bobby had just messaged me and says he knows where you live. <laughs> no, you don't know. Because you can't see the, the, the living room light is not switched on. So you're going to think I'm not at home. So there we go. Uh, I've just mapped the keyboard controls for G-Generation on... That's fantastic. Probably the Mega port. Mate, I love that game. I love Street Fighter 2 on the Mega. I love it. I really, really do. Really do. Really do. Um Atomic Luke! Oh don't 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 do it. Don't do it. You do you've done it, haven't you? Mate, how dare you? How can you not like that game? What Mr. Sweetest House, what don't you like about Atomic Robo Kids? What don't you like about it? I love it. It's a fantastic game. I absolutely love it. And also these guys react to your crosshair. I mean how cool is that? Again, brilliant. The music is great. I like the music in the game. Betty Pockets is a game that is frustrating. It's good though, but yeah, the enemy takes so many hits to die. I love Atomic Robo Kid, I really do. <laughs> I knew this would happen. <laughs> he knows it so well though. Right. Uh, I love it. I really do. I really, really do. You, of course, you've watched me stream it. Yes, I do. I love it. I really do. Um. Uh, frame rate, I suppose, yeah, it doesn't have the greatest frame rate. But I still love it. <laughs> I'm all alone on that one. It's, I'm all alone. I'm in my own little box. I think I'm the only one that doesn't like to the Grubber Kids. I'm proud of that. I love it. Is there a cracked copy of Magic Pockets? Not, I don't have one, no. I do have a box version of it though. I actually bought it from a boot fair. I didn't buy many games from boot fair, but that one I did. It wasn't the greatest quality though, but I would like to buy myself a better box. See, they're doing their things. So you're trying to shake them off. Shake them off. Again, brilliant. Get off me! Get off me! Yeah, probably some inspiration from Empire Strikes Back. Oh my god, I can't shake him off. There you go. Lord. He was held on by super glue. I think if they do that, I mean that's an instant I think it's an instant kill. I think so. And also you shoot them so they start to smoke. And eventually it'll just plummet to the ground. Yeah, it's a shame it doesn't have any theme tune. That is, well, it's a shame, but it does have awesome music at the start. Uh, Magic Pockets, if you go left and right at the same time, he faces you. Um, I think it was called Adventureland and was f fan made on the Vic 20. My lord, I had to dig deep in my memory and search the internet. There you go, that's determination. I appreciate that, Mr. Right, I'm going to move on to another game. I think it's the end. No, it's not. But we're getting through. Not as many as other streams. Infinite health. Uh, I just want to be able to get to the end of the game. It's a long game, though. Uh, oh, he's done it again, isn't he? Um, yeah, I, I, I didn't realise you had different weapons per area. I didn't know that. But the second one, you've got... Is it ice? I think it's ice. Ice blocks. Right, I'm going to leave it as that and move on to another game. So what do you want to see next? You want to see Captain Dynamo, Titus the Fox, or Xenon 2. Right, brilliant. Fantastic. Dream it, you... Ah, oh, drinks. <laughs> so, uh, Street Fighter 2 was pants. There you go. Get it, UK has spoken. Yeah, I can understand why you would think it's pants, but I love it. I do like it. Titus of, uh, we'll do Dynamo. Dynamo first, no worries at all. Retro Memoirs, and Titus the Fox. Uh, yeah, I bought this. Um, again, it's from Matestone in Kent. Uh, it was Computer World. The artwork, again, is fantastic. Me and my brother bought, played this, and it was was absolutely blown away by it. And we, again, it was pretty much like Turrican 2. The, the week later, we went back to that shop, and we bought uh, Slightly Magic, which is also... Uh, published by Codemasters. But again, brilliant. Really liked it. Uh, no in-game sound effects on this one, unfortunately. Right, question. Okay, well, we're still on the subject of this. 
Um, one of you already answered it, though. What games on the Amiga did you not like at first, but eventually grew on you? I don't think it's going to be many Tomic Robo Kids and Street Fighters on this list. Um, I hope you guys looking at the new port of Street Fighter can make it happen. It does look good, doesn't it? Even on the CC4. Um, now, this one is either called Captain Dynamo, but it's also known as also Dynamo. So, I'll try C first. So for Fox. Um, yeah, I'm not good at poker. I never have been. Um, yeah, it says Dynamo on the title screen. But I've always known it to be Captain Dynamo. That's what it says on the box. Rainbow Islands. Paradroid 90 grows on you. I'm terrible at that game. Take it easy, Daz. Uh, off to watch a film. No, what are we going to watch? You can't leave us a cliffhanger like that. What are we going to watch? <laughs> um... Appreciate that, mate. Have a great weekend. Uh, right, let's put it in order, shall we? Uh, view only uh, like that. No, hang on. I've done this for a while. Window view by name. So. Echo the Dolphin for you. Z Wolf 2. Um, Smack for Fox game grows on you. I see what you mean. <laughs> but only if you're good at poker, which I'm not. Right, Captain. Captain Dynamo. Here we go. Have completed this quite a few times. Codemasters 1992. Hi, Guns. I love the music. I've never played the game before. Uh, Z-Wolf 2. I do have Z-Wolf 2 as a box, but not Z-Wolf 1. Uh, Spiegel 2. Funny enough, my dad used to love it before I did. Oh, you didn't like it at first. That's really interesting. That is really interesting. Yeah, Echo of Dolphin. I can see why that, that one had to grow on you. Because, yeah, that's, that does take some getting used to. Yeah. Rainbow Islands. What a game that is. Also, one of the problems, one of the disadvantages, they're going to do one already. One of the disadvantages is my bigger boxes are not in here. They're in the other room, so I can't actually look at my bigger boxes. So I can't grab a box on the shelf and show you. So that's that's one disappointment. Will it stop me buying them though? No, it won't. I want to see them. And of course, I've got no hammer beads in here either. So yeah, I'm, I'm losing quite a lot of things. I'm, the things I can't see. Right, never streamed it before, but I have long played it, but very, very long, long time ago. Believe it or not, it's Lionheart. Did not like it much back in the day, but I really love it now. I can understand that, with difficult attacks. Uh, I suspect you probably fell in the water a few times to start as well. At least Quest, never played it before. But yeah, there's quite a few. Um, not me on the Amiga, though. Um, there's quite a few on the PlayStation 1. I wasn't sure at first. I'm trying to test your brain box. I'm about to have to get back to one. I'm a vegan. I'm struggling to think of one. Right. I'm not using mouse. Using zip stick joystick. But yeah. Echo the Dolphin. Yeah. That was loud, is it? Yeah. Echo the Dolphin. Do uh, dolphin. You'd have to grow on me on that one. This game has time in it. Yeah, it's fine. Um, <laughs> the goldfish. There could be a goldfish in that somewhere. At that time, you've got to stay in the water. You can jump out of the water. You've got to go in the water. You survive in the water. No ocean bar. Right, so anyway, your character has no additional skills apart from jumping. The only way you can dispatch enemies by jumping on the head. Basically, it comes out of retirement. Um, but yeah, you've got to try and find all the diamonds, kill all the enemies. It's not actually a very long game, actually. Um, Evil Austin von Fleischwatter has stolen the largest set of diamonds ever. Austin from retirement, Cape Crusader, Captain Dynamo, hurtles into action, rescue the diamonds, dodge booby traps, and save the world. Comes out of retirement to make that possible. But yeah, not very many levels. 
Nice crack. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, me and my brother played this after buying it from Computer World in Maidstone. And it was really blown away. It was like, amazing. And then a week later, I went back to Maidstone Cave with my dad and we bought Slightly Magic. Not quite the same art style. But, again, we're so blown away with this one, we had to buy another one. Right, let's do a big jump. You have to press up and fire. A small jump, you just press fire. But also, don't be hit by a beam. Yeah, you have no weapons, it's just the avoiding game, but yes, you can jump on their heads. Now, enemies don't be spawned either. But this is a really cool game, I like it. Booby traps are still... <laughs> We're talking about... Yeah, so quite a few booby traps on that one, yes. You do get the occasional traps, not as many as other games. But they are there. But yeah, no time in it, which is awesome. Yeah, I'm still trying to think of one. It's crazy, I have spoken about that on previous streams, but now I'm actually putting a question on the stream about it, I can't think what I've said. That's actually a checkpoint. But you have two lives, you can get additional lives along the way, but not from score. So, uh, so his house, is your cat, is he like, sleeping on your lap now? Is it, was he five years old? I think you said. Um, Civilization, I've never played Civilization. Uh, but yes, I haven't played Z Wolf 2, not 1. Right, there's a trap. I remember right there, so there's. Right, that's the end. We're going to try and get the diamonds first. So, anyway, what are you guys doing the weekend? You go, pick up bonus, secret bonus, total score. That's, mate, that's so good. I'm so pleased about that. I'm really pleased with that. Jasper's not in the room anymore. He's had enough. That could be an issue in the winter, I think. So, of course, he likes to go out the front door. But, of course, if I'm not going to be streaming from that area, it could be an issue. I don't know. So, again, I have to leave the back door open for quite a lot of time. And also, I had my inspection yesterday. And, yes, she was pleased. And I did make a suggestion. Um, I did say to her, is it possible that the kitchen worktop could be replaced? It's not, not, it doesn't look that great, I have to admit. So yeah, she's going to replace the kitchen worktop for me. I did ask her also, because the Virgin Media guy asked me the question. I said, how old is this property? And she said it's about 1970s. But yes, so it's never had a new kitchen worktop. So yeah, she's going to replace that for me. I don't know how expensive that's going to be. But it just, it, it just needs a little bit more, again, a little more sparkle. It's seen better days. But overall, she was impressed. I mean, the, the only other issue was in the conservatory. I uh, got this... Uh, is it... Uh, is it Ivy? I think it's Ivy, growing through the, the walls of the conservatory. And the trouble is, Ivy slowly pushes the walls apart. And uh, so I, was, I went and knocked on the neighbour's door yesterday and with a pair of snips. Not knocking on the door with a pair of snips, but yeah, I was in their garden trying to cut some of them back. Because that's what they keep on growing, keep on pushing the walls away from each other. I think it's Ivy. Probably something completely different though, mate. Uh, this game to play when you can't sleep, I find it sleep... It's a game I play when I can't sleep. You will find sleep quickly. What game's that? I suppose it's, it's a good idea, if you can't sleep, play something you don't like. Well, in my case, read a book. I should read more, but yeah, reading bores me. Uh, a bit annoying when you need to spell correct all the time. Sierra Online made some good games. Point and clicks are more easy. They can be, if I know what to do. I haven't completed many of them, of course. Hello, Vamped Amiga, the great Vamped. How are you? Welcome to the stream. I'm not streaming in the living room anymore. Rise of the Dragon, I've heard the music. I've never actually played the game before. But that one grew on you, yeah? Marmite on toast. I'm not a fan of Marmite. I like toast, though. 
Graphics up here remind you of, ooh, yes, Space Taxi, yeah, it's good, isn't it? I did actually do a long play of that, but that was on the laptop a long time ago. I never actually got around to uploading it, so I might need to do that again. But I'll do it in small doses. I think it's 69 levels, and I did it in one video, so yeah, it's about an hour and 50 minutes long. Right, there's life down the bottom of the screen, but I'm going to come back to that. But anyway, Bad Sid, I appreciate you joining my Patreon. Thank you so much, it's really kind of you. And also, thank you to Oxo Good for increasing your Patreon. Really kind of you. Harry Longbone, good to see you. What is that smell? Oh, it's me. I love this aftershave. That's cat, isn't it? <laughs> well, it could be you. You could be talking about yourself. How are you? Good to see you. This is Captain Dynamo, also known as Dynamo, but I've always called it Captain Dynamo. Um, yeah, I'm assuming you're talking about Red Dwarf. But yeah, it's a really good looking game. It is really good. But your character can't actually fire, but you only kill enemies by jumping on their heads. Right. Right. Now when down. You need to make your jump. Um, it's Robert Gray here as well. Hello, Robert Gray. Welcome to the stream, my friend. How are you? Again, thank you everyone that's watched my videos during the week. Really appreciate it. And thank you for commenting. Thank you for liking. Brilliant. Thick and nice and thick Marmite on toast. Did you just actually bombard it with it? Yeah, loads of it. Slop it on there. Uh, good looking game this one. Yes, it is. It's very good. Again, bought it in older days. Uh, you know, it took three attempts to do that. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Uh, Robert Gray, I'm still using the same settings. It's working really well. So I can't argue with that. If it's working, keep doing it that way. I uh, hope you're enjoying your new setup, mate. I love it. It's taking some getting used to, though. But yeah, now I don't have to pack it away all the time. I can't be sure to show you because, of course, I've done the video for it, which I've got to be editing this weekend. So, yeah, I'll be spending my whole entire weekend editing. I just don't have the energy to do anymore. It's absolutely worn me out, this whole entire project, but it's a project I wanted to do. Five years down the line, it's about time all this game had a proper setup. Yeah. And a nick of time, too. Yeah, you know, it was just so cluttered, it really was. There's been times where, you know, I've had a bad day at work, you want to chill, and you can't chill if your house is absolutely bombarded by stuff. You can't chill in that situation. So now I can. I can sit in there, it's, it's tidy, there's no issues now. I sort of miss it in a way, because like I say, I can't see my Amiga boxes from here. But it's crazy, I spent more time in here than I have in there. Crazy. Friday night, I'm not in there. And Jasper's not in there either. Right, up there is... Checkpoint. Thank you very much, that's so kind of you. <laughs> I mean, you did about five sittings, didn't you? Yeah, on the, when I uploaded my mini video, I actually decided, right, do you know what? I'm going to sit on the sofa, put the, 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 the feet up on the, on the sofa, have a cup of tea, and I'm going to sit there and just watch my video, and I think I watched it twice. And it was just so nice, I just sort of put my feet up and just relax for a bit, it really was good. Right, I've got to make sure these are in the right places at the right time. I'll do it hurls you across the screen! But again, I love the art style. Um... Mate, it was... <laughs> it went well! It went well, but it was just extremely knackering. Of course, I didn't have to do a video for it, um, but I wanted to. Because, um, you know, it's a big, big project, a big, big thing, a big, big change, a big, big movement, you know. But yeah, I really want to do it. But yeah, I've not done any editing so far. Um, but I think you guys can be very impressed with what I've done. It's amazing how much space I've made. And I haven't thrown away that much. It just needed a general sort out. Um, but yeah, it's like a domino effect. One thing led to another. You make some space, you make most of that, which opens up space somewhere else. Then you de develop on that, move that, move that there, which leads up space there. It's amazing, really. I'm actually going to the tip tomorrow. I'm having a bit of clear out of my porch. Um, 
Yeah, I'm actually selling it. Well, I've, I've tried selling a few things, but I can't seem to sell them, so we're going to the tip instead. Yeah, some nasty traps. They're like that. Oh, you fool! Would jump up there. This guy did not come out all the time, and it's spiked in the brain. It's not going to be spiked in the brain, but there we go. Again, going, going well so far. I think there's two additional lives you get in the entire game. That is it. Is this thing better? That's interesting. Yeah, I'm actually using the OSSC today. Normally I use the HDV converter, but yeah, a few people have said the sound is better. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, Robert Gray, my landlady was sitting there. I've got that now. I've just spoken about that. What's happened here? Uh, we've got an issue now. Did I speak too soon? What's happened here? Right, hang on, what's happened here? Hold on a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It could be resolution issues, it could be. Um, we'll try deactivating it and reactivating it again. Oh, what's it done that for? Hold on a minute. Uh, let's try this. Um, not only has it gone off on the PC, it's also gone off on my TV as well. That's interesting. Custom. Interesting. No, it's not actually. <laughs> it's not him, no. No, he's been a good boy. That's weird, isn't it? Um, let's have a look. Try that. Why is default? Might have to restart the Amiga. I don't know, maybe. Yeah, the OSSC is saying no sync found. Right, hold on a minute. Hold on a momento. Hold on. Hold on. Um, be right back. Be right back.
Uh, Showtime. Fantastic. Yeah. Love it. Right, I've actually plugged in the um, HD Vida Converter, but the Amiga is still on. Um, let's try changing that. That's really strange. Uh, come on, Jasper, your master has a live stream to do. It's not Jasper. Right, I'm, I'm just restart the Amiga, I think. Um, okay. What a poo. What a poo. Right, I'm going to restart the Amiga. Could be that. That's bizarre. That is really strange. I think that's done it though. Ah, oh, that was close to that was very, very close to completion. That was. Come on, baby, like me. There you go. You see, you ruined my day though, didn't you? Never mind. Well, there we go. That was Captain Dynamo. What a game it is, though. But unfortunately, I don't know. Yeah, it's a quick restart. Uh, strange, isn't it? Don't know. Strange. Uh, yeah, it's not Jasper this time. However, we're on the subject of Jasper now. Now, Mrs. Smith's house and I was having a bit of a, a conversation about this. Uh, yeah, I'll admit, it'd be interesting to see what you think of this. But yeah, how many games can you name where you play as a cat? I was talking to Mrs. Smith's house and we had this conversation and we, we couldn't think of many where you play as a cat, apart from Nine Lives. In fact, Nine Lives is probably the only one I can think of. Uh, that's bizarre. Okay, we'll move on to another game though. We're going to title as a fox. It's not a not a cat, so we'll go for a fox anyway. But anyway, not, I do apologize about that. Uh, also, I've missed quite a few people here now. Um, oh my lord. Daishi, hello Daishi, good to see you. Hope you're well. Um, <laughs> don't worry Daishi, it wasn't you my friend. It wasn't you at all. Uh, bad cat, I've heard of that. Oh, that was Hellsbeck, wasn't it? Hellsbeck music. Yeah, there wasn't many. I drew a complete blank. I couldn't think of any. Jamie, stop looking up there. Look there. It's a bigger screen. It's closer to you. Um, chill time. Um, yeah, what is this music? I have heard it on... Oh, the... Uh, sensible Soccer. Sensible World of Soccer. My chill music. Um, x shape Boss. Yes, you saw that, didn't you? Carson Dorman, you're so kind. Thank you so much for continuing to support. Really kind of you. Um, yeah, Sensible World of Soccer. Um, well, I've missed a lot of comments now. I live and sleep 24-7 in your man cave. Did you have any problems after moving the setup or did it run smoothly? Well, on, the, on the PC, it's been fine. It has been fine. Yeah, it's been all right. Uh, I've had a few problems with the lighting, but yes, again, the video will, will, will describe all that in a lot more detail. Um, but yeah, amazingly though, the landlady, yes, yeah, she had a look around, but she didn't say anything about it. Uh, however, I caught her look at my hammer beads at one point. She was having a good old look at those. And uh, I thought she was going to say something, but she didn't. Um, but yeah, she, I thought she was going to say, like, Jamie, there's too much stuff on the wall. There's too many nails on the wall. There's too many shelves on the wall. But yeah, she was fine with it. She was absolutely fine. Um, but yeah, she did say, are you going to be all right paying that, wait, that, that increase in money? I can't say no, can I? You know, it's going up to £705. That's of July. But yeah, she said to me, are you going to be able to pay that? I can't say no. I'm going to have to say yes. If I say no, she'd probably say, well, you can't live here then. <laughs> right, Titus the Fox. Where are you? Where are you, Titus the Fox? Unfortunately, guys, I miss a lot of comments now. But this game does take quite some time to load. But yeah, Castle Dorman, that's so kind of you. Thank you so much. Top Cat Garfield. Of course, Garfield. Played that on the media back in the other day. Yeah. Didn't get anywhere, though. Bubsy on the PlayStation 1, yes, disconnect and connect the cable, something is just a loose, of... yeah, I don't know what it was, the Mega was actually still on, it didn't go off. Yes, there's always, there's always a game that tends to have problems, but yes, it was normally Carver, but now it's Captain Dynamo, which is a shame, that's been really far on that one. But there we go, we'll do it another day. I have wanted to remake that long play anyway, to be quite honest with you. 
Oh, it's on the SNES first. All right. Uh, DJ Catch Show on Sky... T I love Garfield, but he hated Mondays, which I absolutely agree with him. Catalips. <laughs> I see what you done there. Let's just shoot him up. Find the cats. I see what you done there. Uh, does a Lion King count? It's a lion. A lion is a cat, isn't it? I can't hear the music now. Bubsy the Bobcat. Gator Robobot. Ro Robo Roboto. I've never heard of that one. Thundercats, not on the Negan. I love Thundercats. I do. I really do. Yeah, I love it. I really do. I've completed that quite a few times, actually. It's brutal, but I love it. Yeah, I want to try and get the full set of those. That's a uh, 10-star, 9-pack. Yeah, I love it. I want to try and get the whole set. I like it a lot, I do. Peekaboo, I see you. Hello to Nepshin, her France. Welcome, my friend. Good to see you. I'm guessing you probably haven't seen my vlogs. You asked me the question the other day. Um about what I'm doing. I'm assuming you probably haven't seen the videos. You probably don't know what's been going on, but yeah, I'm a big, big, massive change. So yeah, I'm not actually streaming in my normal place now. I'm actually streaming in this room altogether. The only other possibility room that can do. Um, yeah, what's this Gato Roboto? I've never heard of that one before. 704, one bed house in Leeds. We'll get you a th yeah, I know, mate. I know, it's crazy, isn't it? In Scotland, you probably, you probably get a free bacon now for about 300 quid. Catapult, Blink and the Time Sweeper. Oh, Blinks, I've heard of Blinks, yes. Cat kiss. I see what you've done there, my friend. Yes. What a game that is. I must long play that in the future, but again, I'm trying to find a do it. But now, once I've got the setup ready and rock and roll, long plays will be so much easier. It really will. But I don't tend to do some videos during the week. Right, let's give her that question. But yeah, I couldn't think of many on Amiga. No, I see that. There's only nine lines I could think of. Yes, there are enemy, there are games where cats are baddies, but even that's not many, I don't think. I wonder why I keep doing this, because it's very difficult to tell with this TV being a lot higher up, how dark it is. I love it, I love this game, I really do. Edit's vlogs, there you go, I like that. Should call it Jamie's vlogs too. Your vlog man too. Awesome, welcome. Right, this character is very fast, very, very fast indeed. Um, but unfortunately, we're not using the OSSC now, I'm actually using the HDV converter. Also got to sort this out, it's probably, is, it, is the sound blipping in any, in any shape or form? Let me know. It might well be doing it now. Street Cat, I've heard of that one. I'm just gonna put it in sync again, just to be sure. Just, um, a little bit, get the right resolution. If it's not, it's, if it doesn't match, it'll blip, and I hate it. Uh, right, okay. 66666, my lord. Number the base, sort of. Right, so pretty much same sort of thing as uh, Blues Bubbles. Pick up items and throw them against the enemies, but your is very fast. But I love it, it is good. I can't get far though. Boss battle at every third level. But yeah, because your is so quick, it's very easy to run into an enemy. But you can dispatch them in many shapes and forms. We can't kill enemies by jumping on their heads, so we can also get a skateboard. But once you sort of get used to his crazy jumping and his running, the game itself is really good. And you can actually pick those guys up, which in all those days, I didn't know you could do. But you can if you throw against other enemies. I don't know if you do it with many enemies, though. Look at that. his face. <laughs> Top Cats. I love Top Cat, yeah. I'm talking about programs going on today. Yeah, so many great classics. Made it so good. Right, I need an item. 
Um, you played it earlier today, that's spooky. How far did you get? Yeah, I've got this in all the days. Hello, Mr. Spud. Hello, everybody. Hope you're all well, Mr. Spud. Hope the pussycats are behaving themselves. The street cat looks awful, but indeed starring a cat. Yeah. I've not heard of it. I thought I had. I've definitely heard of Bad Cat. In fact, I have heard the music of that one. Now, you can actually kill multiple with one hit and time it but well. Red. Action Cat. 1988. Cute game. Street Cat for Amiga. 1986. I was on the Amiga as well. Didn't know that. A four bed attached Doncaster. 66, 66. That's crazy, isn't it? It's mental, isn't it? Yeah, man, let's go. I don't know. But, you know, now it's in a much better. Now it's presented a lot better now. I'm happy. So, yeah. Uh, as long as it gets paid every month, she's, she's happy. I could be happier. I don't want to spend that much, but as long as I've got a roof over my head and just got a place to stay, so it's safe and secure, it's a quiet area, so yeah. It's going to be so much easier now, it really is. Legath, I don't know. I don't know how many levels it's got. 15 levels, 900 screens, and 54 extraordinary uh, extraordinary enemies. But yeah, pretty much everything you can pick up and throw. Some items you actually use more than once, depending on what it is. If it bounces, which will wilt, so you can use it twice. Whatever the case may be. But yeah, enemies are very fast as well. Um, so next question. There we go, why not? Where is it? How many games can you name where your character is really fast? Not racing games. <laughs> Again, doesn't be Amiga, but whatever you want. Of course, Sonic is going to be there. But what other ones can you think of? Your character is rather fast. And this is a fast fox. Zool is very fast. You can get energy along the way. You don't actually have to kill everything, but it helps. As long as many items around. Right. Go too crazy, but yeah, yes, you can use multiple times. Good. Try to weave in at them. Wiz and Liz, I've got that. Is it Wiz and Liz? I think it's Wiz and Liz. Yeah, I've got that. Blues Bowers, of course, yeah. Same team did this one. Yeah. Since we're the soccer, if you've got really, really fast players, star players, yes, why not? <laughs> or if you're playing it, yes. Oh, goal scoring superstar here though. Sonic. <laughs> if, if, I'll be very surprised if no one said Sonic. Terry Thomas, I played that as well, yeah. Uh, running man, sort of. <laughs> he's not lightning, but yes, he has his moments. I love that game. Again, it's a game not many people liked. In fact, I think I'm, again, I think I'm probably the only one that does, but I, I did like it. Right. Code. Oh, I must punish you for that. So that wheelie bin is on top of the skateboard. Thank you very much, Van Amiga. I hope you're well. Uh, Tycoon Thompson. Oh, that's, is that the one you in a are you in a boat? Is it a boat or a flying saucer or something like that? I think I know what you mean. It's super hot. I don't know that either. Ship and Dale. I used to watch the program, but not play the game. But I believe was that Ness. Snares or both? I didn't realise they were fast though. I have to stop like that. Right, so we've got. I don't know if it is. Never had the. Right, put it down. That was difficult to do. Uh, kick. Oh yes, kick house. How can I forget about that one? What a game that is. My energy is terrible. That was difficult to do. Arabian, oh yes, Arabian Nights. I've got a box over that now. That's brilliant. Furry the Furries, Soccer Kid, yeah, he's fast as well. Strider. Um, 
Please like, subscribe. I appreciate it. Rent to me. You're really kind of you to say so. Run Saber. Don't know that one. Led Ventures de Mokhtar. What's that? I mean, the full title of this one is Titus the Fox, Jamira Keck, and Back. I think your energy replenishes. Yeah, I put that in the air. I thought, you're going to just keep naming racing games, aren't you? <laughs> Which I would have allowed, of course. Um... But yeah, there, yeah. Kid Chaos is brilliant. That is a really, really good game. I can't get past the second theme, which is a toxic waste thing. Again, it's difficult to think of different questions. Gunstar Heroes on, this, on the uh, Mega Drive is good. Yeah. Crazy though, isn't it? Bullet hell. Right, so this one has the boss. This is again a difficult level, uh, but they're all difficult in their own ways. It's the original version. Oh, is it? I didn't know that. That's interesting. Should I learn so much from the streams? I really do. I was really pleased to see this on the mini. I was quite surprised as well, but I was also very pleased. Because, yeah, it's a brilliant game. But flying things are difficult to hit. No, but it doesn't get killed before the pipes. I don't know if this game has water. I've never seen water in this game. It's possible they could be water later on. He's probably be affected by it, isn't he? But I love the music, I love the sprites, it's brilliant. And you do have alternate routes. Also, use the spring. So don't throw the spring. You throw the spring and you can't use it again. Place it on the floor nicely and use it multiple times. I had it at some point, yeah? Project of Inferno? really quick, um, but it is a good game though, I have long played that. Captured, Elliot's Vlog Strider was a... Oh, a choke! Oh, I'm with you now. I've never played Strider 2 though. Is it really as bad as people say it is? I've played it a long time ago though. But we never bought that one. We bought that from a friend. I didn't know about Titus, made some special version for the French players, that's cool. Hope you're well, my friend. Don't throw the spring, baby, I've only did. Right, so we'll use it to its full potential. It does it very well. Right, magic carpet! Right. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Yeah, sometimes just keep jumping repeatedly. I don't know if I can do it. Tower game. Was it done by US Golf? <clears throat> I've never actually played it in any shape or form, that game. That worked out well. We hit my Gettle Blaster and still like. <laughs> Let's still use it again. Right, boss battle. We need a bouncy ball. Lucky we got one. Are you a decathlon? Yes. I suppose it depends on how much waggling you do, I suppose. Hope you're well, Mr. Spud, by the way. Power. Also, this game, you can also be soft, soft locked. It's happened to me a few times. I've been stuck in those before. Um, Wizard of the Liz is good. Marble Madness is good. Uh, I've not played a bad port of Marble Madness. They're all good. Uh, special version was for us. <laughs> Shadow one was okay. Even the guy is really slow. Okay, Decathlon, if you waggle enough, that's true. Daily Thompson to Caflon, have you seen how quick he does that? He does, he does, he does, he does, he does. Super Sprint, of course. Hello, at Sam M, good to see you, my friends. Uh, even everyone, I hope your new setup is working well for you. It is. Of course, there will be a video on it, which I'm going to be editing this weekend. Take it easy. Appreciate it, Mark. Have a great weekend. Don't game too much. Hey, will ya? I bet you do, though. Have a great weekend. You'll be playing some awesome games. And good luck for Speedball, too. I'm sure you'll pass flying colours. Win that speedball championship. On this channel, everything is played by a great player on real mega hardware without cheating. We don't use cheating here. 
It's be Beast Master. Yeah, I need to do that in the, in the future. I'm going to try and complete the Beast Trilogy in one stream. Don't know when, though. <clears throat> but I'd like to do that. But yes, I'm known to be the, the Beast Master. That's one of the names I've been given. Yeah. Zor and Zor 2. Yeah, I think I do prefer 1. Even though I think 2 is easier. But I do prefer 1. Again, because I've played more. Um, but it's just brutal, isn't it? I just can't get past the second thing. There. Transition is like Turrican. I mean, it's again a very difficult level. It really is. I mean, you get hit, you get thrown around. Anything you're holding in possession, you take damage, you drop. But you can, yeah, I can watch your advances though. I think he's one of the fastest characters on the league, I think. What do you prefer, Zool or Zool 2? Questions in the chat. Zool 1 or Zool 2? Oh my lord. <clears throat> Keep your distance away from those. Right. Um, I think of your kind words, that, uh, Bantam Eagles. Be kind of you. I only played all ones, all two for Mega. Yeah, I think it's all two. It's definitely the easiest of the two games. I can get Thurvin's all two, but yeah, I I, I do like all one a lot more. Oh, poo. Uh, that, that. Don't like any of them though. It's basically Amiga's versions of Sonic the Hedgehog. Basically, isn't it? It's weird, the music sounds like there's a channel missing. Oh, I won't say that. Let's have a look. Uh, hold on a minute. Right, you're gonna hear double for a minute. Hold on a minute, let's have a look. You're gonna hear double. Um. Yeah, you're gonna have a bit of an echo. Ready? Right to me. Sounds okay to my, sounds alright to me. It sounds good. Yeah, I've, I've, it could be the cable. Could be a cable adjustment. Yeah. Yeah, let me know. But yeah, feedback guys, let me know. Anything that you don't think sounds right, looks right, let me know, I'll tweak it. Um, it's all two, loves all two, yeah. No Sam Fox Titus who <laughs> have to do. Right, let's try and get this a little bit more in shot. Right, go. I've never played on DOS actually. Is it, is it, is it different music on DOS? Well, oh, it's probably a silly question, Jamie. Of course it's probably. Is it, is, it, is it good on DOS, is it? So you've never played Amiga before, just towards them. Never ever, no? You can have a lot of fun with it, my friends. But of course, yes, you are a CC4 man. And an awesome man too. You're a really good guy. Really supportive. How far have you gotten, Zool, on DOS? Hope your family's well, by the way, Josh. Gigabyte Technologies. Hello, Ever42, good to see you. Oh, 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 come on, Jasper. Come on, Jasper, come on. Come on. Come on, let me be proud. Jasper's here. Jasper. Jasper. I've also got soft locked here before as well. Jasper. Come on. Jasper. <laughs> oh, Ammon's family. I love that game. One of my favourite platformers on Amiga. The die. Jasper, come on. Jasper. No, he's going the wrong way. Oh, I thought he was going to walk across the desk. That was your moment to shine, my friends. You didn't do it. How do you get all that? That's a mystery. I've never wondered, I've wondered how you get in there. Uh, yeah, it's, it's quite fast, dude, yeah. Uh, sound seems okay for me. Just two channels playing all the while. Really? Just what are you doing? Right, 
right, it's gonna end in one or two ways. The odds weren't great. He's still smiling though, he's an awesome dude. Yeah, I think you're gonna be quite surprised at what I've done. It's amazing what you can do when you really put your mind to it. Right, I'm doing this the hard way. Look at my energy. Or lack of. Jasper, you had your moment to shine. Samir wanted to see you. Right. One more here is a dead fox. But this level is difficult to do without dying. It really is. Don't get as much energy on this one. He's gonna make hammer beat this guy. Go in there, mate. Down, fire. Fire down. Down, fire. Down. There you go. Bouncy ball time. Right. I need some energy. Ah, okay. Remember this bit. That's cool. You also use items to stand on. Oh, that's good. Um. We'll be interested to see the final layout for streaming and living at the same, same really. Well, a completely another change, a huge change. TV's gonna turn itself off, which you can't see, and I can. There you go. Yes, new TV does it as well. Right, so you've got to try and put one on top of the other. Pooh, didn't want to do that. Oh, I've messed it up. Oh, I'm stuck now, I can't get out of there. Oh, I'm going to kill myself. If I press the quit button, what's going to happen? Oh, I'm over... Jasper, what are you doing? In the kitchen workshop. I'm stuck. Go through the door, mate. Go through the door. Go through the door. Go through the door. Go through the door, my friend. If you don't go through the door, we're going to be stuck here for the remainder of our time. And I can't kill you here, there's nothing to kill you here. There's no time limit here. I have to press the escape key. Oh man, I have to kill myself. I don't believe it. How do you quit the game? How do you quit the game? Uh, someone's asleep on my laps, no wonder she... She would notice, just for me out, she would years pop up in the air. See, I'm not a fan of posters on the back of manuals. Just, I don't want to unwrap all the things and read the instruction manual. Let me quit the game. Um. Oh, no. I can tell you. I told you how to do the CPU one, but let's see. Ah! F1 lose a life. F1? F1? F1 lose a life? Just one life? Good. Um, game over is F2. Status screen is F4. Music on or off is F5. Sound effects on or off is F6. Sound filter is on or off F7. That's interesting. Seven. Well, that solved the issue. So that changes the, that changes the audio slightly. If you press F seven. Yeah, that is different actually. That does make a slight adjustment. Um, frequency fifty to sixty. Uh, F five on a Atari ST. Pause is P. Spacebar. Energy that's on PC. Back to DOS is escape. Alright, okay. Well, we killed ourselves. We need a poster to do it. Also, no, yeah, F2, F2 is game over. F1 is one life lost. It's interesting, isn't it? It's a mystery sometimes how these games are so different because, yeah, there was a few times where. The TV is going to turn itself off, and I couldn't figure out what button it was, and end up killing myself. Yeah, people probably say it's escape. Not always the case. Sometimes you've got to pause it first before it's escape. It's mystery. There 
never mind. Pause the pee, makes sense. <laughs> even, a, even a fox has to pee when he needs to be doing it. Right. He's not stupid. He's a cool dude. I guess you've not played this one before. Maybe it's just me, but I remember the music in Leguff being a bit more noisy than that. You might be getting confused with a different level, maybe. Right, don't throw the what? Uh, the... Don't throw it. Put that over there. We need additional bounce. Get additional heights. Right. Drop. There you go. And there was energy there. Typical, isn't it? Oh, I see. There. Also, some platforms are hidden. Right. Smart fox. He is a smart fox. He's a cool fox. But yes, you can get... You can get stuck if you don't plan it well. But luckily, an energy bar in this game. Uh, more questions. Right, let's go for the random. Let's go. Oh, we'll get this one down. We'll go for the random generator question, shall we? That was good. A little randomization to the stream. Yeah, you can get locked there as well. That's, there's quite a few places I've actually been soft locked. A bit like naughty ones. That happens quite a lot in that game. Right, let's go for the random generator question. So, we're going to switch over to this. Uh, right, so, Windows, right, random object generator, so, submit, what's it going to go for? Newspaper, we have a newspaper, right, so the question is, haha, <laughs> it's going to be interesting, um, there could be quite a few here. There you go. How many games do you name which contains a newspaper? Paperboy. Paperboy 2. Yeah. There you go. I knew someone was going to say that. It was the ultimate, wasn't it? It's like speed. You're going to say Sonic, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. How are we doing for viewers, people? How are we doing? How are we doing? Right, this is the catacombs, I think it is. A different, again, a different level. Uh, Rampage? Yes, it does, yes. Mega version... Graphics... Wasn't great, but that was the first version we played. Difficult game though, the trouble is your energy is replenished by eating people, but it doesn't replenish it very much. They get absolutely shot at by everything. Uh, hello Opto Exit, good to see you. Ten. Uh, Fake Valantis, yes, you need it in the... in Paris, uh, in France, don't you? Um, yeah, you give it to the guy... To the st near the stage. That's right. Mist, Rampage... Uh, 36, I appreciate that. It came from the desert, I think. Rocks out your hamster. <laughs> Spears out on the same page as you, Gumdio. It came from the desert also the same, I think. Yeah, I've not got far in it, though. But yeah, it's a good game, though. But yeah, you it helps you know what you've got to do and where you've got to go. But yeah, I'm not great at those sort of games. There's not many. I think only Three Stooges is the only city where game I've finished. Hope you're well. Also, that's it. Good to see you, my friend. Welcome to the stream. Dark Seed. Played it, but not very much. Didn't realise it was Dark Seed 2, though. Did not realise. SimCity 2000 Striker. I got a game called Striker on the PS1. UEFA Strike, I think it's called. But you're talking about the football game on the... Hello, Mixels Lab! I appreciate that. Welcome to the stream. Another awesome dude creating awesome games. How's it going? Thank you for the follow, if you have followed. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. You want to promote your game? Please do so. Wins of the journal, if it counts. Of course it does. You've got newspaper in it. Absolutely so. Yeah, this is good, isn't they? I'm gonna be killed by one, though. 
Right, this bit is brutal. Um, this is the bit I'm thinking of. No, it's not. But you can use the crate to get high ground. Don't throw it. Boy, boy! Yeah, it's good, isn't it? I like it. I do like it. Oil Imperium. I don't know that one. Right. I'm going to switch that. That. Go well. Ho hopefully do another video demo. That's fantastic. That is really good. Is that... Uh, I'm sure... I'm assuming you've made more games than that. How many more games you've made in the past? Yeah, I keep meaning to watch one of your streams. I'm so busy doing other things. But yeah, this last four weeks has been absolutely manic. Um... Yeah, I've not really sort of got online very much, but if I have, it's not very, not very long. From what I've seen, it's really good. Huge congratulations to you. Um, hello to Merrick Bell, good to see you. I played, came from the desert yesterday, I ended up in the hospital. Yeah, a bit like um, Nightbreed as well. Make a mistake on there, you end up in hospital as well. Right, this bit, yeah. Um... They do also get hidden platforms. I dropped it for fire. I've done that before. Yes! First time! I'm happy with that. Okay. Um, I've never been able to escape the hospital in a wheelchair. Oh, you mean on. Um, you do that in. Three Stooges, don't you? Three Stooges for a week, for a week. Three Stooges, three wheelchairs. Right, this one. It looks impossible, doesn't it? There you go! Woohoo! I'm happy with that, first time. Yeah, welcome to the stream, Merrick Bell. Merrick Hill Bell? Key? I hope I pronounced that correctly. He's doing that. I don't think I have. Evil Fly, yeah, you don't get. Well, I'm sure there are wasps and bees somewhere, but yeah, Evil Fly, evil Worms. He doesn't have a rough day, but he's a, he's a happy dude. A smile on his face. But yeah, sometimes that'll give you really difficult items, but yeah, newspaper, seen it quite straightforward for you. It came, was a true classic. Right. This is time. I want to try and get dispatched as many of them as you possibly can. Try not to miss your target too much. Big items can be thrown as well. Um, couldn't work it out here for life of me. I know that Dance Hill, Dance Hall, had one of those ant ant people. Couldn't kill him. Are you talking about it came from the desert? Yeah, I didn't get far. But I love the first person mode to it. You've got to be very specific. You've got to shoot their antennas. You've got to be very precise with your limited bullets. Right, back to the ball. Oh, you see. Oh. Tap two on Amiga. 3D first person shooter game with spells and papers to read. I don't know that one. Traps 2. We'll be trapped in here. Too many flies. I'm trying to get rid of me, you can. The trouble is, you can throw it once. You can throw it into the air, but it can land on your head. This music was very eerie, uh, no idea how to spell it. Eerie, yeah? <laughs> eerie. Oh no, I messed up again. I'm stuck now. Stuck. You can get stuck very easily. That's probably it, that's probably it now. No, one more go. <sighs> yeah, if they hit you, you'll drop your item. Trouble is that when I dropped it, it went too high. I couldn't get up there. You need an item to get up there. Unfortunately, it doesn't tell you how many life you got on the screen. Right, that sh should make it easy. As long as the 
will not slow down. Oh my lord, get out of there. There we go. Boss battle. Right. Now the key here is using this block. Crate. You basically just keep dropping on his head repeatedly. Uh, save it. Trap 2 was released in 1997. Very good 3D entry with Amiga. News for me, that one. Oh, poo! I don't know, I don't know that one. Right, it's going to be difficult to do, but... I'm going to read chat doing this. <laughs> don't let him know chat what's dad, yeah. Could be. He's angry though, isn't he? So yeah, don't actually throw it at him, you have to drop it on his head. If you throw it at him, you can't use it again. Um, yeah, I've never heard of it. 97. What system is it on? It's on the media, is it? Oh, that's a late one. So what games have you been playing recently, guys? What have you been playing? Yeah, I've not played many 3D ones. Um, I think the first one I played... Oh, poo! What, well, in terms of like first-person view mode, was um, Death Mask. Didn't like it, though. That was on the C32. I played Gloom. Gloom was good. That was good. Yeah, this is quite time to assume. This can go on a while. I think it's the only way you can do it, though. I don't think you can do it any other way. But every time you drop it on his head, it will take multiple hits. Woohoo! There we go! Find next door. Uh, where is the exit door? Where is the exit door? No, it hasn't crashed, is it? No. Does it crash? Oh, don't crash on me now. Can't crash, surely not. Aha! There we go. Bringo. Uh, I really play. Seems to spend more time watching other people play. <laughs> nice boss. I thought Fears was good back in the day, but tried, just tried it on the mini and was not impressed. Maybe it needs more time. Last game I played was Nightmare. Do you mean the new one or the old school one? The first, uh, the Dungeon Crawler or CC4 one or um, Hoffman's one, which is fantastic. I've completed that one now. The last two levels are extremely difficult, but a good game, really is good, I love the music to it. And of course, it, it did well in the, in the latest uh, competition. Play Sensible Soccer, I saw that on your Jaguar. Yeah, I've never played a Jaguar before. Yeah, Sweet as Hell, Steve was playing it on the Jaguar. Have you played Sensible Soccer on that system before? Apparently the controls are quite difficult. Oh, the, the new Hoffman one, yeah, the music's sensational on that, really is good. Uh, Fizz is okay, other than the enemy AI is... <laughs> okay. I've not played it before, but I, I, know, I know exactly what you mean, though. I know what you mean. Right, use, use a little bread to get high grounds. Drop on the left post. Right, this one, you're getting absolutely bombarded by babies. And again, enemy... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Projectiles, I think fast. Use the bouncy ball. Again, you've got to be really quick to react to them. <laughs> I'm doing the coward's way of doing it. No, it's not the coward way of doing it. Uh, Erin just walks directly at you. Even if the walls are between you both, it's bad. 
The guy that saw saw likes to play it again. Trap two. Oh, you looked at it. I've looked at it over the stream. I'm not gonna kill him. Give me babies. Give me babies. There you go. Your advice is don't play it. Oh, really? It's that bad, is it? I don't know. I don't know why. I didn't think he was in football. Mr. Spud. Do you support any teams? Okay. Right, okay, we've still got, um... Then on two to play. That's not too shabby now, is it? Right, I'm gonna get yourself a drink. Um, right. You're a Spurs fan. Ah. Are they playing well? Where are they in the league at the moment of time? Right, I'm gonna go and get myself a drink. Quick time out. And we're gonna try... We're gonna give Zenon 2 another go. See how we do today. Ah. There's a notification keeps popping up on my, my PC. My item has been dispatched. I had to buy so many items to make this possible. Right, be back in a moment. We're going to go to the Be Right Back screen for a second time today. Yeah, me too. Um, <clears throat> there we go. Me too, my friends. Um, nighttime TV music. Also like playing Legend of Kyrandia. I've never played that before. Uh, only seen footage of it, uh, which is of course point and click, isn't it? Um, right, Jamie, you're looking at the wrong screen. I keep looking at the wrong one. That's the one you want. That's the mouse you want. I'm actually using two screen, uh, three screens, and two mice. Uh, right, down here. Uh, Aiden Breed 3D, Breathless, Gloom Deluxe, Nemac, Trapped are all Amiga-only games. I love them as much as D Doom or Heretic. I do have, pardon me, Doom Deluxe. I have that. Right, I've got to be careful with this because I might get a copyright, so I don't want to leave it playing for too long. Jamie, it's the wrong mouse. That one. Uh... Wonderful game, yeah? Try it one day. Right. It's weird, my living room has got so much space, but now I'm not in there. Oh. Yeah, do have gloom. I've got to hold it back further now. But yeah, love it. I really do like it. I love the sound of that. I was laughing when I was playing that game. Right, don't let this play for too long. Also, uh, last year, I think it was last year, I actually bought it on the CD TV, which is still sealed. I've never played it on CD TV before, and it also came with some postcards. Uh, there you go, it's Colin. Front and back. Um, yeah, really cool. I think we've got like six of them. I don't know where I've put them all. So you've got some, um, got some currency as well. Some money. Not real money. It's uh, Colin Curley's money. It's good. That's really nice touch. Love it. But apparently that's got different music. Recorded in Roland Space, Sound Space, 3D Sound. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to get that. Mr. Spud, if you're still here, my friends. Look, it's got your name written all over it. you got this one. Spectrum. And also Rusty James. <laughs> yeah, I bought that today. Right, okay, um, let's see how we do today. All right, yeah, nice, I have a copy I've played on my CDTV. Take it easy, have a great weekend. Is genetic species also Amiga 
exclusive. Don't know that one. Uh, Chris, uh, Robocop 2 was also my go-to game when I was about 15. Great time, although Magic Pockets, Gods, New Zealand Story, Naughty Ones, Toki and many more platforms were also played to death. Uh, be quick, be quick. That was quite quick, that was. Uh, there you go, Robocop 2. Love it, I really do. Hard as nails though. Uh, you didn't say I've got one, did you? I've got Robocop one as well. But yeah, brilliant. I've got most of those actually. Uh, but I'm not going too crazy. There you go, that's my high score. Uh, that's when I did it without no without continues. Right, let's see how we do. Good game is, it's fantastic, isn't it? Where's the box? I'll get it in a moment. Um, yeah, this is the first game we saw on Amiga back in mid-1989. We wanted it so badly. Whew. Um... Yeah, some great ones there. I've got box versions of Magic Pockets, God, New Zealand Story. I've got two of those. Naughty Ones, Yes, Toki. I've got all of those, actually. That's fantastic. Yeah, really good. What year did you... Was that... Um, what, what age were you when you first got your Amiga? Do you still have it? Nice. Yeah. Right. Let's see how we do. But yeah, I know it's not to everyone's taste, uh, but I really do like it. You cannot go wrong with this game. It just looks so good. Yes, it needs more music. It's crying out for more music, of course, don't want to run bomb the base. But yeah, you want to try and get the best weapons. But yeah, let's see if we can do it today. Um, yeah, Toki's fan. I, my favourite track in that is the... Um... It's not in shock, Jamie. Jamie, it's using the wrong keyboard. Hold on a minute. Tried using the PC keyboard to pause the game. Jamie, good luck in that. It's not going to work. Um, yes, 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 yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, there's a big, big delay for the uh, Spectrum Next. But again, we want it to be perfect, and it will be perfect. So, it's a long wait, but it'd be worth the wait. Absolutely. Hello, Mike. Hello. Mike John Smiths. Good to see you, my friend. How are you? Welcome. I guess you probably don't use YouTube very much, do you? More of a YouTube man. Good to see you, my friend. Yeah, I've not been on there much, because I've been so busy doing my four-week project, which is now done, but there's a few things I've got to do. But yes, editing is going to be done this weekend. There's going to be a lot of it. I've not even started yet, but I thought, well, it's, I'm tired. I'm worn out. So let's just focus on it this weekend. Don't record anything else. And carry on the week after. Yeah, you seem like you seem like you're more of a Twitch person. No harm in that, of course. I, I'm the opposite. I, I'm actually YouTube a lot more. I don't. I never used to go on Twitch very much. I will do more streams on there, but I suppose now I probably could do it a lot more easier now. But I still want to keep doing streams on, on YouTube. That's the main focusing point for me. Right, so we need to get some auto fire on the go here, really. That's what we want. We get... Bullets are quite painful at the start. Oh, have you got it? Have you? Hang on a minute. Right, we need some auto fire. Are you drinking? I reckon you probably are. Uh, my recollection of Legend of Car Ranger is going to be picked up a copy with a late friend night in 1995 on my bikes. Then watched him play it until 7am. Not much change with the watching game play. Oh, many platformers though. Um, Stock Car Racer wasted more hours of my youth than I'm willing to admit. Um, Alright, take it easy Mr. Sweet's house. Almost midnight. My lord, I can't even focus. I didn't realise. Take care, dudes. Have a fun weekend. Great stream and great work. Thank you, Swedish House. I appreciate that. Have a great weekend, my friends. Uh, another slow them up. X2 is totally overrated. I love it. I do like it, though. I do like it. But yes, the American version is a lot easier. Right, first thing I'm going to do is get some auto fire. Um, it's not going to give me a lot more, though. Right. Yeah, take it easy, my friends. It's a mega blast. Uh, as a new Games Mode book has been delayed. Oh, it's been delayed. 
Uh, I was 12, 13 when I had my Amiga, born 75, and it should be in my parents' attic. Mate, go get it. Go get it, go get it, go get it. It's fantastic, go get it. Yeah, it's a bit of a slow one, yeah, but it's brutal, isn't it? Yeah. I think there's quite a few bubbles in that one. I reckon a lot of people probably playing their minis. <laughs> Feels like Twitch has been too many features. Sometimes the learning curve is crazy. Yeah, I, like I say, I don't use it very much. Um, but of course, yeah, I can understand why people do use Twitch a lot more for raids and that sort of stuff. But yeah, I've been, I would never change what I'm doing because, of course, that's where I started. Where people are used to, see, you know, watching my streams now and watching my videos. If I wasn't doing videos, yes, I probably would make the, the permanent switch to Twitch. Um, yeah, if I was a streaming channel only, then yes, that would make sense to go to Twitch. But because I pretty much do everything, I'll stay with this. But every so often, I'll just go on Twitch. Yeah, goodbye, sweeties. Have a great weekend. I'm really pleased that your cat is now spending more time with you. I was getting a little bit worried that it's not going to accept the change. Yeah, cats don't like change. It does stress them out. Yeah, Jasper was alright. He adapted to the change quite quickly. I was quite surprised. I did wonder, because yeah, like I say, it does stress them out. Yeah, adapt to the environment, adapt to the surrounding, but then it starts changing like that, starts moving things over the place. They can try and adapt to the change, same as humans. Some enemies, some elements are missing in the music theme. Well, when you're shooting, that does actually stop some of the music sometimes. Yeah, there is an issue with that. Um, yeah, some games, yeah, sound effects and music won't go together as crisp as it should do. Don't die, Jamie, some energy. Yeah, unfortunately, yes, the sound effects is quite extreme in this one. Yes, it can... If you listen to it with headphones, which I am, yes, it can be a little bit too much. Yeah, it's like creatures. You're playing creatures on the Amiga, then yes, when you're shooting, yes, that will affect the music by quite a lot. Yeah, so I'll try not to fire too much. I'll try not to. <laughs> not going to be easy, though. Watch this game, you require to fire. Hmm. But again, yes, it's a very slow moving. Yeah, quite a lot of the shoot ups on the Mega were quite slow moving, weren't they? Not many fast paced ones. Do it like that if you want to. <laughs> I'll try. I'll do one's best. I'll do one's best. It's a magnificent game. It is a work of art. Yeah, it took me quite a lot of years to finally get that first time completion. It was just a random video I came up with. I was doing a, a boss video. My f five most difficult boss battles. And yeah, this one was number one because that's the, that boss I got to, which is the tank, I never got past. And I randomly just did it. And then since that day, I did it again, but this time I did it without using a continue. So a random video you know, spawn two completions of a game I've been so desperately trying to complete for so many years. So I was a really happy boy. Yeah, sometimes doing videos can help towards these completions. There you go. Um, this is just what the music is like. The sound effects knock out, yes, some of the music. Unless you've got the hot tub or look good in bikini, Twitch isn't the thing. <laughs> I know what you mean. X uh, XP8 is another great Amiga shooter. Lots of underrated games for the platform. XP8. I hate the music when it cuts when you're playing. Yeah, exactly. Uh, even when you stop shooting, the kick strap drums never come out. Oh, really? Never really noticed it before. Um, right. It's a very, very tactical game. Uh, I'm trying to remember now. Sell the side shot. Does that. 
Uh, I have got, no, I haven't completed yet, but I have got to the final level a few times, even on live stream. Did it once on live stream. Unfortunately, I hadn't really mastered that level, but it takes a long time to get there. That's the problem. Right, by the double shot, that's 3,000. I will complete it. It is, it is definitely doable. Um, side shot, max it out if you can. I don't know what my energy is like though. Can I buy one more? I don't know if my energy is good. Do I risk it for Will and Biscuit? Go for it. 1,000. It's a mega blast. I used to use I used I used YouTube a lot, but Twitch is like taking over my, your life now, is it? Like the big match so much, I drew gods like character in deep pain. Really, that's fantastic. Uh, I think it's just gonna it's just a long sample loop that you can't start as quickly as you stop firing. Yeah, that's true actually. Uh, it ruined first samurai for you. Yes, yeah, first samurai amazing amazing music. That's amazing. I love the bitmaps. I really do. Is your strat to keep getting extra lives? Or no, not really. You want to try and keep... Well... Um, for the first level, I'd like to get the one mine. You also want to get the rear bullets. Um, but yeah, energy and... Yeah, lives. Yeah, if you don't want to lose your weapons, then yes, go for the additional energy. Which is expensive, but yes, of course, you're trying to get life as well. But you don't want to lose your weapons. It's a big struggle when you lose your weapons. But yeah, those mines are handy for killing those evil turrets. Alright. Uh, no, I'm not actually. I've had tea. I've got. Whoa! Anyway. No, I don't drink very much. I had one beer the other day. That was the first one I had in about two months. Um, I do have some water. That's how I roll, baby. Water. Water from a jaw. I don't taste quite a lot of water. Yeah, I don't drink very much. <clears throat> Trying to save my cash as well. But yeah, some of those beers I got in the conservatory are still there from Christmas. Which you heard right. Still from Christmas. No, I'm not, I'm not surprised, my friend. What are you drinking, Carling? You love your beer, don't you? You probably drink, you probably drink more beer than I drink tea. And I do drink tea like there's no tomorrow. Don't have to justify, Jamie. Whoa, wait a minute. Fosters, yeah, I quite like Fosters, but I, I, I like Stella, and I do like, um... Bex. I think Bex is my favourite. But Stella goes through me like there's no tomorrow. I can drink one can of Stella and I'm off my trolley. I really am. I don't know why that one in particular really just go through me so much. But yeah. It's not overly high percentage really, is it? But yeah, I'm a lightweight. I always have been. I always will be. I do like Bex. I can't drink too much. I'm going to get a headache. I might have a beer tomorrow while I'm editing. Maybe. I love L. I love tea. Yeah, L. Grey. Yeah, I do like L. Grey. Yeah, I can drink tea like there's no tomorrow. When, 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 when vampires, whoa! Vampires need blood to live. I need tea to live. Without tea, I die, basically. Uh, yeah. When, you, when I bleed, I bleed tea. Yeah, three to four. Yeah, I'll get I'll, I'll get drunk on that quite quickly. This boss can be a problem. I've died quite a few times with this boss. Again, you've got slow moving screen. Am I safe there? I can't remember if I am or not. Oh, that's not dying. Oh, there you go. Um, I'm having a beer, uh, a Lefe. Cheers, mate. Cheers. I ching, ching, ching with water to you. 
Dragon's Milk is my new favorite. Dragon's Milk? I have never heard of that before. It's McCoy at 60G. Yes, I love it, mate. I'm still trying to adapt to it, though. We have a lot to see and do, but of course, you can't really sort of see a lot, really. It doesn't really sort of look much different, but to me, it's a big, big difference. A huge change. Hope you're well, my friend. Are you playing Elden Ring? Was that a silly question? Cha-ching, cha-ching. Yes. Ching, ching, ching. Uh, we're gonna get, uh, well, gonna get you killed in the game with all these distract- No, mate, I love doing it. This, actually, the, the, the chat is a lot closer to the screen now. I've got three screens. One, two, three, light, light, desk. Mig is over there. But yeah, it, it should technically be easier. It should do. I can't get this lid off. Oh, wrong way. Oh, it's got to down the top. Dragon's milk. Yeah. Sounds like a beer you should get when you beat the dragon in Moonstone. There you go, you get a the sharpness and a can of dragon's milk. Right, I'm gonna stick with that. I'm gonna build that up. And once you build it up, then you can sell it. Again, I didn't look at my energy. I'm gonna max that out. Three is the maximum you can hold. A thousand, it's maxed out. Right, so I'm gonna buy energy. I do, drink, I do drink quite a lot of milk, I have to admit. Not just in tea, but also in a glass on its own. Right, auto fire, max it out. Max it out. There's room, it's maxed out. Uh, speed, no. I can't max it anymore. Uh, energy's maxed out. I've got 1,300, I can't spend it on anything. Go. You love white, I like white wine, yeah. But then that can, again, can go through me up very quickly. Right, bullets are bigger. Energy's maxed out. Three lives. But yeah, I do apologise about the sound effects. It's, yeah, it's affecting the music, isn't it? When I did that last completion, I actually played it through with no music. It's the first time I ever did it. Because originally I was going to edit in such a way where the music wouldn't be affected by the transitions. But I just, just, I just kept on playing it and I ended up finishing it. Gobsmacked. Gotta love the upgrades, yeah. There's a lot of upgrades in this game. Not bought all of them, there's so many I've still not tried. Some of them, well a lot of them, you don't get into the later parts. They're so expensive. But then you get the same, like, same as gods. Pretty much the same thing. Very expensive. Which you expect, you know, the better the weapon, the more expensive it's gonna be. Right, what's that? Oh, it's nothing to kill. Only one bubble. Yeah, I've not had white wine for a while, actually. I quite like rosé. I'm not a fan of red wine, though. Jamie, that was bad. That was bad. That should be energy. Welcome to... Whoa! Oh my lord. Welcome to Boomer's channel. Look, me a great memories and drinks. Peace! No, I was playing Mits oh, Mitski with the girlfriends. I, love I do love that game. Yes, I've got a box version. I'm going to leave it be, though. Too busy saving the world from the Zenites. We're trying to. The one thing I don't like about the game is the bubbles. Yes, they do have a pattern to them, but yeah, sometimes it's difficult to collect them. If it goes over the surface, you can't pick it up. Oh, I do love mint skins. Who won? Did you let your girlfriend win? Or did you beat a meanie? It's good that she's playing some games with you, though. Especially being Amiga. Mitski is the abduction. <clears throat> is that the Mini or your original Amiga? Daishi, strong Guinness. Wasn't, I wasn't a fan of that. I had it once. Didn't like it. But I wanted to try it. And it wasn't for me. It's your favourite beer, by she. I've never heard of it before. That's like me, only with one beer. Yes, 
Mike loves his beer, loves his vodka, doesn't he? Anyway, hope you're well, Cuts It's G. Hello to Belgium. I think most people have probably played this. I, mean, I don't think there's many Amiga fans that have not played this game at some point in their life. Not, all, not also on Amiga, eh? of course, it was released on so many different platforms. I have played it on DOS, and I have played it on Master System. And I think that is it. I don't think I've played it on anything else. Stay here. So we need a lot of luck. So far, so good. He fell asleep. No worries at all, my friends. Um, it's like the graphics getting better for each level. Is it on two? Interesting. Have you played this one before? Uh, whatever, you, whatever the drink, the point is we share a social moment. I love Zenon, but was never good at it. What, the first one or this one? Right, what do I do here? Uh, I'm trying to think what level it is. I think I sell the, I sell the side bullets. Yeah, because you lose them anyway. You sell that, you get 2,500. 2, this next level, you want the rear bullets, and it gives them to you right at the start. So that's 2,500 sold. 7,050 we've got. We go for the laser. Unfortunately, I don't have enough to buy two. Unfortunately. One time I got here, I actually bought two. Um, right, I'm going to max it out. A bit more power up. 2,000. Uh, energy is always handy. Oh, and Mega Drive. Not played on Mega Drive before. Yes, I have. I have, actually. I have. I have. I have. I have, I have actually. I have. When I was a baby, my nan used to put a bit of Guinness in my bottle when I was fussy. Oh, really? I've heard that one before. They cry for their dummy. No, you cry for your Guinness. Yes, my friend, you did. You did. Love it, though. Brilliant game, though. Yeah, because this new setup is now so much better, I've actually got a solid surface. I'm just, I'm basically, I'm using a desk now. So, playing a mouse game is so much more comfortable. It's a Mega Blast. For Mega Drive, we gave it the name of the Mega Blast. Oh, yeah. The water in Majora... <laughs> I said that earlier on today. The water for Majora don't taste quite like water. So, yes, if you, if you don't sell the side shot, you'll lose it anyway, immediately. It's just wasted money. You might just sell it and make the most of it. Yeah, I don't drink enough water. But yeah, my, when I went to the dentist last, she said, you know, you drink more water. Look after your... Oh, teeth. I love chocolate hairs. Yeah, I do. Oh, yes. Sometimes being greedy can be quite devastating. Yeah, you try and collect the money. Again, send blood money. You try and collect the money, that can kill you. These are also deadly, but they can award you a lot more than other things. I can't remember how much this is worth. I should know. I've got the box. I think it's about 100, something like that. I don't know. 50? Give me 50. Right. Stay in the middle. Now also, the bubbles on this section do react differently. They don't hover in the same way, they stay in this section. Which is great. So otherwise you wouldn't really get half of them. Probably wouldn't get any of them. But yeah, without the, the back with bullets, yeah, that would be quite difficult to do. Limit. Beamish. I've heard of that. I've not tried it though. Yeah, it's amazing colours. I mean, yeah, at the age of eight, this is the first game me and my brother saw, and we were blown away. What a place to start. We wanted the Amiga so badly, we've never looked back. I mean, my brother doesn't play Retro anymore. He, he plays his Xbox, pretty much what he does now. But I've, I've, I've stuck with Retro and Commodore. I, I always will do, always have, and I, I love it. 
can't get enough of it. Um, but yeah, I, I still love the memories of it. I still remember the memories of it. I don't think my brother remember it all now. If I said to him, would you remember it as I on 2? I don't think he would remember. He won't remember the stories, as I do. Woo! Come on, baby. Yes, I'll miss one. Yes, yeah, it's, it's good, isn't it? Was, David, was it David Whittaker in both of them, wasn't it? I have to drink around 10 litres of water a day with having a... Yeah, I hope you're well, my friend. Uh, there's something to be said about Humble. Humble? Could it be Kid Dynamite? I played that on the Mega Drive. Lord Infinity, I hope you're well, my friend. How you been? The new alcohol-free Guinness is really nice. Alcohol-free? Hello, Graham Cow. Oh, no, he doesn't like this game, do you? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. You joined at the worst time. He doesn't like it. He really doesn't like this game. Sorry, Graham Cow, but I hope you're well. Congratulations for your new game. It's really... I, I've pre-ordered it a long time ago. I'm looking forward to getting it. Um, it is really good. It really does look good. Um, what's I doing? Side shot. I'm trying to remember what level I'm on now. Uh, I've got the rear bullets, haven't I? I need to keep the rear bullets. Keep the rear bullets. Yeah, I'm really sorry, my friend. I'm really sorry. I remember it well. <laughs> But it's the music. Is it, is it the music you don't like, or is it actually this is the game itself you don't like? I know mean, there's a lot of things you don't like. Commodore for life. I agree with you. Absolutely so. 100%. Pardon me. Um. Health 2. Yeah, go for it. I think that's maxed out once again. I can't buy anything. You can buy some advice. It tells you which way to go, but I know anyway. Left, right, left, what else do you want? We can't buy anything else. Uh, that was when someone or you said about being greedy, being humble. Oh, I see. I'm good, mate. Yeah, it's just all the bad things about a shooter in it. Yeah, you really looked into it, didn't you? Uh, also, good. Uh, hope you're well, my friends. Uh, this was one of the first games I got Xmas Day. Amazing. It's a, it's a slow scroller. I'll give, yeah, I'll give it that. Uh, but yeah, quite a lot of... There's not many slow scrollers shooters on the media, it is there, to be honest. There's not many. But it's nice that it has energy bar. That's a good thing. I approve of that. And of course, hitting the size won't kill you, just get trapped. You can get squashed, then yes, that's an instant kill. But I think it will. Pretty much. But yeah, the bubbles on this one is an issue. They just float into the side the centre of the screen, you can't reach off them. Again, you want the right weapon. It's a very tactical game. You want the right weapon at the right time. This one again, you want the rear bullets. Uh, two multiple, multiple, multiple hits to enemies to kill them. Ability to score backwards. It does save your bacon though, especially on a level like this. I guess you haven't... <laughs> how far have you got? I mean, I guess you probably haven't played it very much to get very far. You just like it so much. I was talking about... I did put a question on stream earlier today. What games did you not like at first, which had to grow on you? And what was the first game you disliked? And yeah. I don't think anyone said it on to. Love the music. Yeah, Monkey Boy. Make you make Monkey Boy is here as well. Two mics, of course. Inbound Dreams, Mike. Three-headed monkey, Mike. Have you played Gnorg on Genesis? No, I haven't. Sounds like a shoot up to me. In Brian Witch Villagers, you'll get... Hold on. I've not played that yet, though, but that's not really my sort of favourite of genres. They start to drink river water because they, they're out. It's not tasty enough. Is it good, is it? Yeah, I'm not a fan of RPGs. But it does look good, though. I admire her work, but it's not my thing. Yeah, the RPGs and Dungeon Crawlers I'm not a fan of. Is it common? Yes, it is common. I think Jamie's are quite rare. Not many Jamie's, is there? But a lot of people think my name is Morgan. 
was actually my surname. But yeah, Jamie just game doesn't sound right. It doesn't sound right. It doesn't have the same ring to it. Morgan as in more than. And at the moment, it's definitely not just games. It's also moving furniture around. Multiple times. Make space possible in a small house. It is possible. I didn't think it was possible. But yeah, it's not done yet. But it's certainly not better than it was five years ago. Crazy circle motions. Yes, 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 I came at the right time. See, look at those bubbles, you can't get them. You can't get them. How long would you sleep for, Mr. Heath? What well, water drinking makes you tired? There you go! Collect what you can get! There you go. Mo going well! It's going really well. They aren't my thing either until I play. Oh, really? Um, if you find free alcohol monkey, let me know. We can tap the source, like the fountain of youth. And make billions. You'd be a millionaire. And I'll be asking you for money. Morgan Morgan would be funny, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, Sewage and Underkind. Yes, I've been following that quite some time. Uh, yeah, it does look good, doesn't it? Uh, it's a new media game, like Curse Engine. Seems like it's been almost ready to be released for ages. Yeah. Looks good, though, doesn't it? My best Xmas day was when I got my new Commodore VIC-20 and 20 games. Nobody saw me for weeks. Right. Weapons. Um... I'm going to sell that. I'm trying to think now. Um, yeah, sell that. I'm sure that's right. Like I say, you've got to be quite tactical. Buy the side bricks, side shots. X, uh, Project X. You don't like, you don't like Project X? Wowzers, really? Oh my goodness, that's an amazing game. Uh, no one beats the Japanese. About 20 minutes. Okay, there's a power nap. Right, I've got a laser. Right, side shot. Buy. One thousand. Uh, right, another one. Uh, I can't... WHD load doesn't seem to work on it. But I have got one working now. But I always get copyrighted for that game. Every time. Strange. But no, no, I'm, I still haven't finished it before. But yeah, I need to try and finish that at some point. But yeah, the version I've got now works okay. Um, how far are you into the game, Jamie? This is... I'll show you in a minute. Heads or tails? By cannon. No, with a laser. Uh, I am on now level... Uh, four... Of five. Each level has two stages to it. The only Team 17 game worth worth buying is Alien Breed, a superb game. And Quack, I love Quack as well. I could hear you, Jamie, I just couldn't see you. Oh, right, you was, <laughs> was asleep. Yeah, we're not too far away. We've got a few different levels still to arrive. But yeah, this is again difficult. Yeah, this one's killed me quite a few times. Again, enemies are right behind you. But yeah, like Grand Carry said, quite a lot of enemies on this one do take a lot of hits. But also, because there's so much going on with your own spaceship, um, it's quite easy to miss the enemy bullets. You won't be down the bottom of the screen for too long. Really, you get punished. But yeah, even like this, it's it's still difficult. Again, trying to get those coins could be quite a bad thing. Right, there's a bubble from um, Magic Pockets. We are invincible. Take it easy, Mark Blaster Gamer. Thank you for tuning in. Appreciate it. Have a great weekend, my friends. Yeah, Worms is good. Cannot go wrong with Worms. I do prefer the earlier Worms to the newer ones. I like to do this more fast paced. I prefer that.
Yeah, this is where the side bullets really come into play. Oh yes, Graham Calvary hates Superfall as well. Don't worry, I'm not playing Superfall today. However, I was tempted to. I was tempted to. Maybe the next one I might do. But yeah, it'd be hard to, to imagine this game being fast. I think it, I think it plays alright at this speed. Right, I'm going to stay in one place. Stick to original tactic. Yeah, Quack is good. I've never finished it before. That's a long game, though. Got a lot of levels. So you played it. Have you three headed monkey? How far have you got? Yeah, take an easy mark blaster. Alien Breed is super fog. Yeah. Brilliant. Alien barks when he speaks. <laughs> Ooh, slowing down a fraction. Don't slow down on me. Alright. Right. You don't want to get to this boss without the side bullets. Not this far, no. I'm sure you have original Megas, uh, Freehead Monkey. Do you play them much? While you're drinking your vodka? Right, shoot the tail. I don't know why, but I always go this left side. I've never gone the right, so I probably would be easier. Just, just, yeah, just, just, I've got two weapons on the left, so it would be easier to go on the right. To be quite honest. Uh, probably not every single box. No, I have to be a millionaire to do that. But I'm really happy with what I got. And of course, no, I'm not going to stop buying them. But yeah, I won't have everything. Still a lot of memories we've got of them, though. <sighs> yes! Woohoo! Go on, baby, like my fire. Uh, hot on souvenirs, night four. I admit it's my health speaking. I can't. Uh, I can't agree on Super Fog. Too boring. I mean, how many bees do you know that fly there and get hit with a boomerang? It's a spud. You actually, it's a sp you actually throw a spud at them. Kill them with the spuds. Yes. Um, right. I'm gonna stick with that. I think. Yeah. Don't sell anything. Now again, for this part, this, this part of the game, not a lot to buy. Some levels you get lows, and some you don't get hardly anything. But that will do. I was going mental. Like power up. That's all my energy, all my money gone. Yeah, unfortunately, you can't take your money with you. If you don't spend it, you lose it. Uh, Three thousand games on Mega. That'd be crazy, wouldn't it? I'm sure some have done it. Buy rear shot. No, we don't buy a rear shot. Not gonna buy the rear shot. Boom boom. Pow. Unfortunately, I've got no more questions. I've got to sell them all. I said that, said that, said that, said that, said that, said that. I've said, that, said, that. I've said all the questions. Don't need more questions. No more questions. Hope you're welcome, Leo. What are you doing this weekend? Mm. Right. Right, pay attention, Jamie. This is the worst. Right, don't get those. Don't get them. Trust me, don't get them. No good. No good to you on this level. Again, that's just my personal opinion. I'm going to be quiet on this one. My energy already. Oh, you see, look at that. Yeah, that'd be crazy to have that. Imagine the amount of cost that would, would now, nowadays. Doable in the older days. Not the now, nowadays. <laughs> yeah, you always know I'm concentrating, but I go quiet. If I go quiet, you think something's wrong with me. Yeah, this, this, I think this level's killing more time than any other. Thinking about it, yeah. I'm going stones, stones. 
Because you get hit by that flame, you know about it. I'm not going to collect anything. What was that? Oh, I don't believe it. Never mind. Got continues. Continues. Unfortunately, we set your score. Never mind. Checkpoint reach, I believe. Yes, yeah, these. I don't know what they are. But they take so much energy away from you. Same one that killed me that time as well. 4K! Oh my lord, it's crazy, isn't it? Right, move over. You can get a lot of money on this one. Yeah, don't be too greedy, that can be costly. No, oh, my butt is wrong. Oh, you. But was 20 years ago. £86 for yours. Don't take damage. Don't take damage. It's crazy, even with this firepower, it's still difficult. If you get hit by anything, it takes a lot of energy away from you. Go, 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 Right, okay. Flying squirrels. They do look like flying squirrels to me. Now these will just keep respawning. Now you can get so much money here. I mean, look at it pile up there. But it's a gamble. Like I just say, you can be killed quite easy if you're too greedy. But all that is f wasted away. Every so often, make the move. Make your move. They don't fire, thank goodness. Hurl themselves at you. Right, we're through? Not yet. Oh, now we are. Oh, killed by a tongue. Sometimes a screen will not scroll. The direction you want to go. Right. Shoot the eyeballs. That, that'll get rid of the, the lasers. Right. Hold on a minute. Hello Stage 9, good to see you my friend. I haven't completed it on live stream before. I'd like to complete it on live stream. That's my plan, that's my goal. I love completing games on the stream. Especially really, really difficult ones. Yeah, completing it at home and completing it on stream is a completely different thing. And it's just one of those ones I want to try and do. <laughs> no pressure my friends. He's selling. Still going, Ox. Yes, my friend. I don't know what time it is. I've got no clock in here. Let me give us a clock. I might get one from Argos tomorrow after we've gone to the tip. There we go. Uh, the hardest part of this game is seeing. Oh, I see. Um. Oh, the Lord of Infinity. Sorry, but I missed you. Have a great weekend, my friends. Um, hope you're well. Stage nine. Big-eyed lizard. Um, the. 
pre the pressure is what makes it different. Exactly, yeah. Mm. Right, two levels remain, basically. Two more stages. <laughs> I don't, yes, that helps. I don't know what the time is. Right, so this is where we go for broke now. So, the uh, laser is maxed out. Now, normally I get more than that. I'm going to buy a, a cannon, which is 4,000. Unfortunately, I can't buy a lot more. This is not one of my greatest attempts, I have to admit. But there we go. We'll power up 2,000. We'll go for some energy and what we can do. There we go. 150 pounds remain. Good luck, Pond. I like that. Yeah, no pressure. Jasper is sleeping on the bed. He's home, are you? Where are you from, by the way, stage nine? Well done so far. Cheers, I dubs. What was this you paid 86 quid for? Did it glitch on the wall and kill you? I'm not, uh, I, I don't know what happened. Got boxed in like a sandwich. We're not going to count every clones of Pac-Man by amateurs. Who have all my respect? How much are 3Ks these days? Expensive around 2K. Blimey. Oh, Quakers, you're still here, my friend. Big Mac Brothers can't do no wrong. Such a quality game and soundtrack. I have every Amiga part from the Amiga 3000, which I'm saving up for. Hello, Trevor. Good to see you. And hello, fake user. You're from London. Not too far away then, really. Welcome in, guys. Welcome to, welcome to the stream. Trevor, what have you been working on recently? I've not bought any games this month. I'm having a bit of a break trying to save my cash. What have you been working on? Yeah, this is Zenon 2, I'm sure most people probably know, but yes, I've completed it a few times, but I haven't completed it on stream before. But it's on the 1200, not using a mini. Yeah, this is going well. This is, again, a very, very difficult level with a very, very difficult boss. It's really good, isn't it? Yeah. I suppose this one is quite, you know, I suppose the graphics is a bit like the first game now, in a way. Again, everything that hits you, be it a bullet or an enemy, will drain so much energy. But luckily, the tsunami won't kill you. Let like you bounce around a bit. <laughs> How far have you got on this, Mr. Uh, Rusty James? You're working Sunday, right? But yeah, even the only bullets, they do take a lot of work. Bye. Finish it off terrestrial, still, I, mean, I like, yes, I like the look of that, that does look good. It's great to see. I do love Impossible Mission 1, I have to admit, I've never played Impossible Mission 2. Uh, but yeah, Impossible Mission is a classic. I've also got this Impossible Mission 209, 2095 on Amiga. That was actually quite good though, it took me years to finally play it though. But it's nice that it's now getting a boost. Becoming a trilogy. He's gonna have the awesome intro speech. Another visitor. Stay a while. Stay forever. Oh, I'm chased by I don't know what it was. Right. Never seen this far, no? Haha. <laughs> Grab now, my friends. That's what Mortgage Games does. <laughs> Try one's best. Streamers are the awesome dudes. But it's a long game. You know, I, I got here quite a lot the other days. It's a long, it's a long time to get here. So then lose. Oh, that's fine, that's fine. But one will continue. Should have. We'll be there, fantastic. Don't get one kill me then. The yeah, lasers are brilliant and very strong. I've maxed them out the best they can go, I won't go any more than that. Yeah, this could be the first completion in my new setup. Be awesome, have that in the list. And of course, no one to add to the, the you know, the all-time list. 
but it's a very different game from stream. Hope you're well, fake user, by the way. I hope so. I'm not done yet. Now this one does affect the sound slightly. I don't know why, but it does. But again, it's still to see what, what, what's going on here. It does slow down a fraction. It's also affecting the music, which will please Graham Cowie's ears. So close, so close. Yes, one more to go. Two more lives. Superb. Is this the first of a bullet hell game ever made? I don't know. I don't know. Nearly there, my friends. Right, this is our last chance. Everything must go. This may be your last chance. It is the last chance. Unfortunately, I've lost a few lives, though. I'm not going to sell anything. Keep it. But I could buy more life if I wanted to. And I might well do that. Don't buy the Big Mac Shays. They're poo. Leave it for Magic Pocket. Oh, I can't buy anymore. That's the only... Pa oh, hang on. Right, I might buy additional life just to be sure. How much is that? That's 3,000. What's that? Protection. There's no point. There's no point. That's the home... I'm going to buy a life just to be sure. Three thousand pounds leaves me one thousand one hundred. That's fantastic, Heath. Really, do means a lot. Thank you very much. Really kind of you to do that. Looking forward to it. Right now, what? I could buy two lives. Just to, again, just to be sure. I can't buy much else. Normally, I buy the dr I'd, I'd buy that. I don't know why I didn't this time. For some reason, I didn't. That shoots in multiple directions. Which would be handy. No, I'm going to buy a life. I want to complete this today. I can't really max it out much more than this. Blood money is a lot more harder than this. A lot more harder. Definitely. Yeah, yes you do have an energy bar in both games. But this one is certainly more durable. Yeah, blood money, I'd say blood money is the most difficult shooter I've ever played. No question. Certainly on the media anyway. So inspired, Carpenter predict all. I said, hold on a minute, hold on a minute, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Now it's not the most difficult level. I would have expected this one to be really difficult. There's not actually that many enemies on this level. But again, if you make a mistake, yes, you can be punished for it. But yeah, these enemies go around the. S basically, stick to the surface. Um, right. But the boss is huge. It's how do you shoot through the platforms? Yeah, Blood Money is a whole new league. But again, it's doable. Again, it's a long game though. But yeah, I have got to the final level a few times. But again, it takes a long time to get there. No continues. That's what makes it so brutal. You lose your weapons so quickly, you die so quickly. Your energy drains so quickly. So there's even guns on the surface. They're evil, they're deadly. Banshee, yeah, Banshee's, yeah, I have completed it on easy though, and I have got to the final boss on medium. But to get the true end, you've got to do it on the hardest difficulty. 
But again, it's a work of art. Core Design did an amazing job of that. And of course, it's spectacular in AGA. But again, the energy bar helps. But once you start losing those build-up icons, and you start losing weapons, you die. That's when you struggle. And it's difficult to get three of them back again. But as long as you've got three of them, you don't lose any weapons. If you've got two, you'll lose a few. If you have one, you'll lose quite a lot. Have none, you're all going to go very quickly. It's a nice addition to the game, it's, it really does keep you on your toes. Oh, old soul gaming, hello buddy, just saw you there. Welcome. How are you doing, my friends? I'm now streaming in a different room for the first time. After four weeks of work and five years of pain, I'm finally streaming on a, on a proper desk now, with a proper office chair. And we've reached the final boss now. But yeah, I haven't... I would like to do Banshee on normal difficulty. I got very close. They're both boring, but super brutal games. Shoot, but blood meat is a fast pace. X2 is more quiet. Right, destroy with guns. Pretty sure Tim Simpson sampled John Carpenter's Precinct 13. Lose it for Mega Blast. It's nice that these, these games had, you know, a specific song like that. You know, of course, you know, Betty Boo for Magic Pockets, and also God's had one as well. I didn't include Betty Boo song on that video, of my mini video. I might have got a copyright for that, so I decided to leave it out. What happened there? Yeah, it's the final boss. It sure is, my friends. Yeah, he basically got destroyed all his guns. What happened there? Got crushed. Jamie, hang on a minute. Right, you can get crushed, I wasn't aware of that. I got crushed, I didn't realise you get crushed on this. Yeah, keep far left or far right. Don't get crushed by the wings. performance but a completion is a completion I'm happy with that done it Woo -wee. weird hitbox well that's it viewers don't forget to turn off your set the winner is me was it good enough for you it was good enough for me unfortunately not a lot to the end though but that's retro for you but again what a game what a superb game I love it yeah a few, a few silly deaths though but I'm tickle pink with that Bosh Bop! Yes! Did it! Yes! Back to the start we go, but you do keep your... Uh, points, but I think you lose your weapons. Yeah, look at this pathetic thing, look at this. Still fast though. There you go! Boom, boom, pow! Have some of that! Thank you Mixels Lab, thank you very much Mr Spud! Rusty James Kite, thank you user, and Robert Gray! Still here my friend, thank you very much guys! Woohoo! Yeah, I think I bought those. I think it was a good thing to buy those lives. I didn't realise you get crushed by the enemy itself. I didn't know that. It does say it in the manual that you get crushed, but I never experienced it before. Yeah, only boss battles. No, I've, my job is done. It just loops. Yeah, it just loops. You keep your score, you lose your weapons. I'm happy with that. Great job. Thank you, Castle Dorman. Really kind of you. Done, done, and done. Brilliant. My third time now, really good. Really please. Woohoo! <sighs> well done, thank you very much, stage nine. So you're London, so you're not that far away, are you? Thank you all so good. Appreciate it. 
Brilliance. Right, um, what should we play now? It's currently five to midnight. I was going to play um, Hong Kong Fooey for Mr. Heath, wasn't I? Hong Kong Fooey? Never played Hong Kong Fooey before, but I used to watch it back in the other days. Thank you, Trevor. I appreciate that. Yes, I love it. I love doing it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I have completed some really tough games. It's always good to do. Someone mentioned that one earlier today. Yeah, I must add that on a future stream. But yeah, we're going to play Hong Kong Fooey. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes. Yeah, I've never played it before. This is a first. I don't even think I've actually seen it before. Oh, yeah, that's quite easy to find as well. Oh, the cartoon of my ch of your childhood. Yep, playing this for the first time. Uh, who, who's it published by? Uh, 1990 by High Tech. Hmm. There you go. Interestingly, on your final sweep backwards to kill the boss, you lost a huge chunk of life. Oh, really? It's that um, homing bullet, isn't it? That homing missile. But did you notice it actually got faster? The more enemy guns I was dispatching, that was making remaining guns shoot faster. Oh, I bought those lives for the right reasons then. Have you got Popeyes 2? First, no, uh, I don't have a box version, no. He's the mild jan mannered janitor. Interestingly. Uh, yeah, I'm up for that. I'm up for that. I'm a bit of a lightweight, though. Just don't buy me Stella. I'll be off my trolley in no time. <laughs> um, one hit from death. Was it really that close? I wasn't paying attention. Wow. I didn't realise. Wowzers. Okay. Right, I don't even know what sort of game this is. Whether it's a platformer, I don't know. Oh, Twilight. Okay, I heard of them. Uh, what did they do? They did not. What was that other one they did? Twilight. Oh, they did. Um, I think they did. Um, Video Kid. Which I have a box of as well. No, it wasn't displaying at all. The home. In oh, really? Let's watch it back. Well, I will watch it back anyway. What is he going to do to. Oh, oh, Police HQ. Right, never played it before. Right, be the final game for today. Like the jolly music. I have to get this shot. I did used to watch Hong Kong Fui, but not not as much as other programs. Who did the video? Who did the music? Does anyone know? Hong Kong Book of Kung Fu. <laughs> uh, I saw Huckabee round here. My mate actually wrote the original game. That got bought and we skinned into Hut Hound. It's a terrible game. He got 600 quid for it back there. I didn't know. Wow, it's really interesting. You mean Hound Doggy, yeah? A Huckleberry Hound. That's cool. 600 quid. Yeah, I don't know anything about this game. So, we've got the punch. We've got a kick. In the air, yes. Switch up there. I have heard this music actually think about it. Yeah, I have. Definitely heard it. Little spikes. Oh, the face. We got new PCs for doing Popeyes. I don't, know, I've not, I, I don't think I've played any of the Popeye games. Um, I have played the arcade version, but I've not played it on the C4 or the Amiga, actually. I used to watch Popeye quite a lot in the other days. And I saw the film with Robin Williams, that was good as well. Probably haven't seen that since the late 80s, something like that. Oh, there's a lot. Right. So energy is low. That book is your energy. They created him in the game and spelled his name wrong, too. That we re Oh, really? A bit like Great Jana Sisters then. Yeah, they sp on the main menu, they spelled it with, G um, they spelled with Jana wrong, didn't they? At two ends. Right, can you jump higher? I'm not going to jump over that. Screens. Twilight Phillips Alpha. Oh, Alpha Chicken. Yes, I have. I have that. Yes, I love that. I do like that game. I really do. It's going to kill me, isn't it? Wow, one life. 
Wow, okay. How do you jump over the spikes? Wow. It's rare to have a game with just one life. I've never been streamed, no. Does he have like a double jump? What do you think? Oh, hang on there. Ah, fire and up. Okay, I'll press fire and up. He jumps further. Right, that will save my bacon. That will do it. Uh, I used to watch repeats on the Cartoon Network early 90s. Yeah, we didn't have that, unfortunately. It took us absolutely ages until we actually got... Oh, that's so much easier. Until we actually got Sky, but our Sky package was very basic. Really, really basic. Um, yeah, I didn't realise you had that extra jump. That makes sense. So if you jump normally like that, it's a flying kick. Up and fire, you jump much longer distance. Damage though. Start again. Start again. I don't need to go that way anyway. Uh, this his name is Jeff, and he wrote, "Oh, Jeff." The, the game developers didn't even bother to make a jump animation. No, just a flying kick. <laughs> Never played it before, my friends. Um, Jamie, you're a archaeologist of video games. I tell you, thank you very much. Yeah, we had it so good that the programs we had in back in the older days were the best. But yeah, did watch this one a few times, but not that much. But we made it so good, you know, finished school, we had uh, cartoons on BBC One, cartoons on Meridian or BBC ITV, whatever it was called at the time. It kept changing, didn't it? It was Meridian for a lot of the time. Uh, but yeah, it was so good. And then we go, you just ask about it, you just go out and play football and then do your homework. And of course, play me or Commodore 64 in the evening. I throw stuff at you. Uh, my lord, look at that. Um... Yeah, it's a bit surprising, isn't it? That jump, yeah. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a statue, isn't it? When he jumps. Did I, do, did I touch that? I did. So what have you been working on, old style gaming? A lot of spikes. Oh! I wasn't near that. Right, last go. Um, we had satellite television from 1980. 1982, as he was born, then Sky Channel 1984, Norway and Finland was the two countries to get that channel on cable broadcasting from UK. Is there a time limit? No, I think I clipped that spike. Yeah, slight dete hit detection issue. Yeah, got it. got to get it absolutely perfect. I'm not going to reach that one for some reason, I'm not sure. Take it easy if you're going to bed, my friends. Um, which jump animation are you referring to? Sandra is good. That's all as would say Phil Collins. Yeah, you've got to be really careful with those spikes. It just clips you slightly. Yeah, that's enough. Um... There, you can jump over there. Uh, yeah, have a great weekend, my friends. Get well soon. Peace. Uh, I'll switch over there, but again, energy. Ooh. The Quakers, what have you been playing? We're going to be playing this weekend, anything? I do 
point if I open the door at the top. It's possible. Look, your dedication is incredible, Jamie, and that's why we love you. I appreciate, thank you so much. That's really kind of you. I love doing it. I really do. Yeah, just, yes, of course. It's been five years of very, very difficult situation with lack of space. But yes, it's just... I wanted to do it. Of course, yes, it's been very tiring, which of course you'll see the video, yes. But I've got to be editing it this weekend. It's going to take me pretty much the whole weekend, I expect. I've recorded so much footage. The footage has already been put onto the PC. Uh, but I've got to go through, go, 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 go through the whole entire footage. But yeah, I wanted to chill out one this weekend because, yeah, I've been so exhausted. But like I say, it was in that frame of mind, but yeah, the trouble is I had the inspection yesterday and what I was what I started I had to finish. So I couldn't have, you know, the landlady come over. I got stuff all over the place. She had to come in and it was fine. It was tidy and organized, which it wasn't for quite some time, but it's it is now. Oh settlers, yeah, is that on the mini, yeah? Yeah, yes. Um Disco Poppin asked me about that. Yeah, it works brilliantly. It really does work quite good. good. Right, it's midnight. Uh, should we leave it as that? Or is there any other quests? I might do one more quest. We'll see. Right. Oh, what's happening there? Yeah, I've got to try and solve this issue because, yeah, I don't have a lot of space on the desk. Um, so, yeah, that's why I'm having to reach over. I can't quit. Where do we start? Ugh. He-Man could have been something... Yeah, I did do... Um, I did do a long play of the CG4 version. That was good. That was good. Difficult, though. Yeah, it didn't have any one in the Amiga, did it? Uh, Code Tab about who must have done the damage load for this did Amiga intro for your channel. Oh, I, I do like those. Your uh, cracked screens with your Patreons. That's a really nice touch. That's really cool. I love that. Fun Factory in the Weekends from 1985 and DJ Kate Show from 1986 brought Transformers He-Man Spit the Gadget to us. Sky was huge here before 1989 when Sky shut down outside of UK on cable. I got hit, I, yeah, hit by the spikes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that. I really do appreciate that. Yeah, we had, so, we had it so good. So there were so many great programs. And uh, yeah, of course you can watch them now if you look on YouTube. Um, but yeah, don't watch any TV whatsoever. Just it's YouTube streams, editing, <laughs> my content, other people's content. But yeah, DVDs, games. I don't watch any TV. I tried. I did try. It crashed. Well, it, it didn't crash for some reason. I lost. I just, it just the screen went blank. It just went completely you know, blank. But yeah, I got to level four, but it wasn't, I hadn't even died at that point. It just completely like, it crashed, it shut down for some reason. Don't know why. Very, very odd. But yeah, the Mega was actually still on. But yeah, unfortunately, I switched from OSSC to the uh, HD video converter, and that's, that didn't solve it either. And then, yeah, it just, it just had to reboot. Strange. I'll do one level of Alfred Chicken. <laughs> I'll go to bed. Take it easy, my friend. We've got football, the lads, at 8am. Great to see you. Back, mate. Night, night. Take care, my friends. One quick go of Alfred Chicken. Um, I haven't played it for a while, though. That was also AGA, wasn't it? Uh, it should be here. It should be here. However, it's going to be difficult to find because they're never in alphabetical order for some reason. Even though I'm close to the screen now, I still can't find it. I'm still blind as a bat. Yeah, TV, unfortunately, TV is done. Absolutely so. Yeah, it's a shame because, again, so many great memories. No, I'm actually not tired, actually. I'm quite wide awake. Uh, got home from work today. I was did a few alterations. I added a light to my wall. I adjusted that shelf there, and then all of a sudden I was tired of kicking in. I thought, well, I'm gonna have to get some sleep. So I went to sleep. An hour later, I woke up. I felt all right. But yeah, I should be all right after a good night's sleep. But because I've been early this week, that hasn't helped. I've literally been getting up at five, getting home, and then working, 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 and going to bed at half past midnight, and then get up at five o'clock again. But yeah. 
Got it done though. Right, it doesn't sound overly loud though. Let's increase it a little bit more. Got a swiggy chair. Got some WD-40 on his chair. Hey, yes, that's true. And of course, I ain't got to pack it all away. That was one of the problems before. Uh, yeah, to pack it all away. Of course, if I'm doing a video like Saturday or Sunday, then again, I will do, will do all the recording. But yeah, I've got to try and get around all these cables and pack it all away. And it wasn't even it wasn't easy to store either. Yeah. Um, right, this is I'm trying to get this on shot. And also doing this as well is a bit, is a bit easier. I think he's a cool dude. I, I meant to have a bit of this for the quiz stream, actually. Um, right. So you kill enemies by pressing down in the air. We've got to try and find a quiet quantity of blooms, which is four. Right. Um, I can't remember the route now. But yeah, it should be right after a good night's sleep. But yeah, I definitely do need a good quality, quantity of hours. However, tomorrow I've put, I'm going to the tip at uh, midday. I my cart is actually full up with stuff at the moment of the time. Uh, but yeah, once I've done that, I don't think anything after all that. No, I, I, but no, I've gone for the normal version. Yeah, I pressed the escape key. That was not a good start. <laughs> it's not, not a nice thing to do, no, is it? Yeah, it exploded. It's like sugar puffs, isn't it? Yeah, I haven't played it for years. A couple of years. Uh, Jamie, always a pleasure to follow you. I forgot everything. You are a Ben Ben fight Ben Ben fighter, one that he, he the one who does good. Take it, mate. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Really kind of you to say so. I love it. Yeah, he does. He does have a jump animation. Yes, he does. He's a lucky one. Right. Oh, Benefactor. I do love that game as well. That's again, an expensive one to get hold of. Um, one of Zajak's favourites. Yeah, exactly. Just like the game, yeah. It's a, I have to admit, that sort of game... It does take some getting used to, but once you've mastered it, it's a really good game. However, quite a lot of people I know didn't like it. But yeah, it does, yeah, it does take some getting used to, of course. But quite a lot of games are like that. Right. Can you fly? I can't remember if you fly in this game. Can you fly? I think you can. Right, so we've got three balloons to find. So we've got to try and hit the switch, turn those back to where they should be. Thank you for yes, that does make it a lot more easy for me, yes. You know what I like on pronunciations. That's why I get so many outtakes, I don't even see what my video I do. Right. So all blocks with a star on it will now be available to jump onto. Some levels you have to turn them on and some you have to turn them off. Right. Yeah, it's a long game as well, isn't it, Benefactor? Yeah. Yes, very much so. There you go, so now... Time limit is going up, not down on this one. Can't remember if they use sport, I think they do. I 
his next balloon is. It's not down there. Right, there's no one. It's also on the CD32, wasn't it? That was a terrible mistake, that one. Rusty! Just completed Zed on two? I'm struggling on this game. Crazy, isn't it? You guys still drinking? No ways at all, my. No ways at all. My lord, Jamie. Talk about Rusty. <laughs> yes, uh, yeah, it's it, it a bit of a rough time, isn't it? Yeah, you too, my friend. Uh, I'm gonna look, because pop it on Second Life. For DJ, mate, enjoy it. I'm sure we'll probably see you, I'm sure we'll hear from you over the weekend, but have a great weekend. Don't get in any trouble. <laughs> right. You're not drinking, are you? Oh, yes, he says. I might have a beer tomorrow, yeah. I've got two left. I might have one tomorrow. Trouble's your middle name. I'll start calling that from now on then. Mike John Trouble Smiths. <laughs> Mike John's Trouble. Oh, I'll try not to forget that. Poo. Also, if you find eggs, eggs is this life. Uh, if you find a jar of jam, that gives you a weapon which is a worm. The worm actually go round you, and if it touches, you're disposed of. But you got to try and defeat the mecha chickens, which are basically robot versions of chickens. Right, this is the one that killed me. Right, heck that. Um. Door. Right, now we can progress. Um, to there, to there. Alfred Rooster, yeah. So I missed your question, I uh, missed your answer earlier on today, Kai. Did you, who won the most games out of you and your girlfriend in Minsky's? Can't remember what that does. I don't know what that does, I can't remember. Number one, it's number one done. Now also, I think you'll, if you collect all the diamonds, you get additional life. I think so. Uh, this game feels claustrophobic for you. You can hardly see anything, but with all the exploring, it's just not your thing, you know? I think the furs I've got, uh, is level. I think it's the one after the. I think it's level four. I think I've got to. Thinking about it, yeah. But he does also go in the water, and you're actually safe in the water. Amazingly. Oh, Where's this go? Um. Ah, 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 got you. I'm all blown. There we go. That should be it. One way to get around. It is good though, yeah. Oh, sorry, Craig. It's not my greatest performance. We've made it. Check all the presents. And we've got all of them. We've got one up for that. Bring it. So what have you been doing, uh, um, King Arthur? What have you been up to? 
So much vertically, so little distance. Yeah, you do spend quite a lot of time going up in the air on this one. Right guys, I think I'll call it a day. Look, there you go. Oh, so right, it's a warming can and it's rife. Right, so that's... Oh, I've got quite a few lives there. There you go. Thank you very much, I appreciate that. Oh, Sean is still here, my friend. Right, guys, I really, really have enjoyed it. I really have. I'm going to call it a day. Got a lot to do this weekend. But again, thank you so much for all your uh, help. And, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. It's, it's worked brilliantly, apart from that one blip when I was playing Captain Dynamo. But other than that, it's been really, really good. Nothing's fallen down, nothing's... Nothing, nothing, yeah, everything seems to be working. But, yeah, I really have enjoyed it. Um, but, yes, the video will be uploaded next week. But I've got to finish the editing stages. It's going to take quite some time. But, yes, hopefully that will answer quite a lot of your questions. And, of course, you can see what's been going on. Hello, Active Folly, I'm just going, pal. Uh, appreciate it, really do appreciate it, guys. Oh, she won one. Oh, okay, you played one. How many games did you play? She won one. Very good. I think Sonic is still ahead. Great stream, Zenon was defeated. Yes, two. 73 likes, that's fantastic. Thank you, everyone. And hang on, Folly, I hope you're well too. Take it easy, guys. Have a great weekend. I'll see you next time. But yeah, I'll keep you posted on what's been going on. Thank you so much, also, good. I really appreciate it. And thank you, Sean. Thank you very much. So take it easy. Cue the outro. And again, thank you for continuing the support. You're amazing. And again, Robert Gray. No problems whatsoever. So again, it's worked really well. No bot problems. It's, again, going really, really well. But anyway, we're going to try and reach the 2k goal. I'm sure we'll reach it this year. But thank you very much. Cue the outro. Take it easy. Ciao, bye. And see ya.